All right, hello again, everybody. Uh, we are on starting day two of East Nine Monster Nox, and we ended last night on an interesting little cliffhanger wrinkle sort of thing, where I thought we were done with chapter two, but then it springs a meanwhile on us, and the meanwhile takes us to exactly where we started the entire game, except not. Because we are once again in a prison cell, however, it doesn't look like the same prison cell. And Adol's clothing also doesn't look the same. So something's up. And uh, as I said at the end of last night's stream, I suspect there was more to the, uh, the remarks at the beginning of the game about what is, you know, what is real tells you what is not real, or whatever the heck it was. I can't remember the exact wording, but basically about, like, you know, dream versus reality, or reality versus imagination, or whatever. Um, this game has already been drawing parallels to stuff like Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, and Metroid Prime 2, in terms of, like, you have the real world, but then you have, like, a sort of shadow double world, in this case, the Grimwald Nox, and I thought that's what it was talking about, but there might be more to it than that, because apparently... Are, are, are the, is this a tale of two Adols? I don't know. That's what we gotta find out. That would have been a good stream title for today also, but we're not sure if we're ready to draw that conclusion yet. So, um... I went with the Hotel California, uh... <laughs> lyric in the stream title, because uh, it certainly seems like we just can't get the hell out of prison at all. It just lives there now. So, let's see what this is about. Um, I should have the timer ready to go, so let's go ahead and hit this, restart the timer, and let's see what we can find in this prison cell. So they immediately panned to, yeah, there's a shiny thing outside of the cell door. Uh, there's no fork under the bed, as far as I can tell. There appears to be something shimmering on the floor. Adol extended his arm with all his might, reeling the shiny object in with his fingers. It's a wire. Who are you? Or This sure looks like the same guard that was talking a mile a minute to us and telling us way more than he should have last time. Where am I? Uh, yeah, let's go with that one. Where in the prison am I? How long have I been here? Both of these are good questions. Um... Would have been better off asking the other question. He probably wouldn't have given us much of a meaningful answer anyway. I need to speak with someone outside. What's going to happen to me? He probably would have said that either way. Don't try anything funny. Um, a cat girl, a uh, a, a cat girl, a mannequin, and a birdman walk into a bar. Yeah, you said that last time, too. I didn't have a problem. Yeah, so about that. So that did already happen. So this meanwhile is meant to say that all of that has already happened. And yet... We're at all? Question mark? The special sector. I wonder if this is the sector that uh, Parks' friend is in, because he said he was in a different sector. Hey, Wesco. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. So that part where I said uh, I thought I had finished Chapter 2? Apparently I had finished Chapter 2, minus about, like, 60 seconds. Uh, Twilight Shard X84 acquired, so maybe, I'm assuming that, like, they it made the sound 
I, I saw the, the NOx meter there, but I didn't see, like, which direction it was going, but apparently it just, like, fills that up and then you get stuff at the end of the chapter for it? Don't know what those are for yet, either. We got those, we got the Azure Petals or whatever. Alright, so that meanwhile lasted about five seconds, and now we've got a few days later. Damn, that is one flashy, uh, grass or shawl or whatever. So, you must be the alter ego of the white cat, huh? Don't take this the wrong way, but I was expecting someone more outgoing. <laughs> yeah, sorry to- Yeah, I was expecting someone less Canadian. Stop apologizing every two seconds, God damn it! Sorry to disappoint. Thought that if I talked a certain way, I might gradually become more like that. Ah, oh, so that's why you sounded different. I also didn't think Adol would find out the way he did. Ugh. I'm just happy that you felt comfortable enough to visit as is. This bar was designed to be a secure location where monsters can collaborate. You'll be safe here. Make yourself at home. Thank you very much. I didn't know the prison was in such a rough state. I need to find you guys a way to check out the other sectors. That's not all. I have new information to report. Not too long ago, I was digging through a list of prisoners for the past six months. Wait, I thought they didn't have a list anymore. I guess they just don't publish it. I discovered that some people were detained despite having no charges. You mean like you? They're arresting people who haven't even done anything wrong? Those bastards. I wonder how many innocent people are there now. Currently, at least five that I know of. Still, that's too many falsely convicted citizens to be a simple faux pas. Your friend, is, is he one of them? Yes. What if we break into the prison? We might find him there. You know, I can I can punch rock walls. We can do this. Oh, that's right. What do they look like? I'm afraid I don't know, but any information you could find could help. And I'll be on the lookout for anybody who looks like they might be one of them, okay? <laughs> and here I thought Balduke was supposed to be a safe place. Yeah, big surprise. Prisons and the uh, penal system don't actually make things safer. Speaking of which, I hear one of the monstrums is particularly dangerous. It will supposedly attack anyone bearing any semblance of a warrior unprovoked. The Feral Hawk, right? Oh yeah? What's he like? Oh, how'd I put this? He's aggressive and rowdy. With a bad temper to boot. Not even afraid of the Roman soldiers of the Hieroglyph Knights. Also been especially unruly when he gets drunk, which is all the time. Now that sounds like a guy you lock up and drop the key into the ocean for. Believe me, Warden Belger has been trying for a long time. Warden is a virtuous man. I don't believe you. Yeah. For the time being, Adol, your goal is to undo the barriers around the city. You should also search for other ways to sneak into the prison. So he knows about the barriers, too. I'm still conf confused by the part where White Cat over here had no problem walking in through the barrier. And yet, every time that we need to unlock a barrier, apparently all of the monstrums get involved. Even though the barriers don't seem to affect all monstrums equally, so it doesn't make sense. I'm coming with you, let's go, Adol. Why? You already unlocked the barriers for yourself. Alright, so next up is we focus on Hawk, apparently. Which is convenient since I already found a uh, stat boost uh, gra graffiti spot for him. Oh, wow, well, I nearly forgot. There's something I wanted to show you. Look at this cool ass lamp. Antique lantern or something. Yeah, it does look like it's gone through a lot, doesn't it? Funny story. Last night on my way home from the shop, a woman approached me. She was dressed in black. Said her name was Aperlis. Oh, really? Um, yeah, so... Shouldn't he already know who that is because we told Dogi everything? Out of nowhere, she hands me this weird-looking lantern. The lantern of Crossing, she called it. Said I could use it to help the Crimson King. With a lantern... <laughs> 
Hey, if it's what she said is true, then it must be able to. The Grimwald and Oxy were just talking about. It's like an alternate world monsters are forced to fight in, right? Apparently, anyone, monster or not, can get into the Grimwald Nox with this lantern. So I figure, hey, what's there to lose? If it's something I can use to help you, then it's alright in my book. Reminds me of the Isle of Saren. Huh. Huh, yeah, it's just like raid battles at Castaway Village. Yeah, okay, so Saren was East 8. I knew the name sounded familiar, I just don't remember exactly which game had which locations. And, uh, that's pretty funny that they're unabashedly admitting, yeah, we literally just took the part of East 8 that absolutely nobody was interested in or thought was fun, and put it in this game, too. You're welcome. That's not all it can do. Slender can, uh, save you a bunch of money on your car insurance. Wait, no, what? Slender can recreate instances of the Grimwald you've encountered in the past. Okay, this answers the question I was wondering, which is, we saw that there are first-time bonuses for getting particular ranks in particular uh, Grimwald encounters, this is how you revisit them. If you think that's something you want to check out, come see me. One last thing. Turns out there's a use for those Twilight Shards you've been picking up. You mean literally the ones we just got, like, five seconds ago that I don't know what they're for yet? Alright, cool, tell me. This lantern, you can exchange them for something that might come in handy. That just about sums it up. Keep giving the good fight out there, alright? So I have to wonder, then... Like, the meter on the top left, I was assuming if that number reached critical mass or something, it would have been bad. But, like, can you actually just endlessly farm enemies and, and get the Twilight Shards? The Dandelion, a prime location for your hideout. Before you venture into the city, speak to your friends in the Dandelion first. Companions who support Adol's monster activities will gather at the Dandelion. More collaborators will join as quests are completed and the story progresses. Yeah, so this is basically like the castaway camp on Saren. You can ask for help or receive rewards by speaking to them. Collaborators will spend their time hanging around the Dandelion. Uh, I probably read that out of order. Make the most of the Dandelion as the base of your adventure. Members of the Dandelion will provide support during Grimwald Nox battles. Check party member and companion support. How are they supposed to fight those creatures, like, you would think that these people would not stand a chance, because so far it's only been, you know, the, um, the monstrums fighting them. It also begs the question, why didn't Aperlis just shoot Dogi? Like, she shot Adol at a moment's notice. You would think she would just do that to Dogi, too, if she thought she needed his help. Check party member and companion support skills under the People tab of the journal. Support skills are enhanced by raising affinity levels. Okay, and that's where quests and stuff come into play, presumably. Oh, they're not going to tell us about that. So the moon phase has changed, you can tell at the top left. We're back down to zero knocks. There's a couple of diamonds or something on that meter up there, and I don't know what that means. Uh... This had a question mark on it, so I might as well check it out. The Use the Lantern of Crossing to exchange Twilight Shards for items and materials. Excess Nox Gauge will be converted into shards at the end of each story segment, which is what we just saw at the end of Chapter 2. Stored as a special material in the other tab of the item menu, fill the Nox Gauge by defeating lemurs and, dis and completing quests. Right. So then does that mean, like, is there a finite amount I can fill at each chapter, and did I actually, like, miss out by not filling it? Because, like, all I would be doing is grinding out battles for no reason other than to fill it. So, like, I don't know whether it's worth me going back. I feel like it's probably not. But it does look like there's a maximum to the meter. Uh, how expensive are these things? Okay, these aren't too expensive, but... These are all just materials. You can get glossy leaves here, which are useful for potions. And I do have an extra empty bottle now. You can get iron ore from it. You can also get... Okay, you can get rare items, but those are more expensive. Damn, you can, you can convert it into stat boosts, huh? Kind of makes me... Well, yeah, unfortunately, well, there's autosaves, so I might be able to go back, but it's probably not worth going back because, like, uh, I would have to spend a bunch of time catching up to where I am again. 
So I should probably not overthink that for now, but maybe we'll actually go out of our way to, like, fight more monsters. It just... The reason I didn't was it just felt like filler. It's like, okay, if these monster spawn points come back every two seconds, there's no point in me doing them. But now the game's like, nope, actually there's a point in you doing them. Ah, oh, that reminds me, Adol. Doki informed me that you were putting together a map of Balduk. It just so happens that I too am curious about the topography of this region as a whole. It would be wonderful if you could share your progress with me every so often. Okay, we've got the Griselda NPC equivalent. What's in it for me? Now I'll just say I don't mind. You're doing me a great service. Were I not a fugitive and a clumsy clod, I would not hesitate to lend you a hand. Alas, I must depend on you to gather information in the prison. Complete your map by exploring, then report it to Parks at the Dandelion. You'll receive a reward for every 10%. Yes, this is exactly like Salsetta. I forget if there was a similar thing for East 8. There might have been. Report to Dogi if Parks is unavailable. Spoiler alert, Parks is sometimes going to be unavailable. That may very well be the paradigm for cartography in the region. I guess that means I already had more than 10%. You show me your map again once you've made more progress. Best of luck, Adol. Uh, so does it show my percent somewhere? Oh yeah, totally sport 11%. Also said treasure 10%. Give me a holler if there's any something I can do. Use materials to install and enhance relics to assist you in Grimwald Nox battles. Oh yeah, right. So this is like the uh, the camp upgrades or whatever in East 8. You can craft ritual relics to increase fiend durability or lure enemies. Ritual relics are placed on the field automatically. New relics will unlock as the story progresses. Challenge of Grimwald Nox of the past. You can take on a previous Grimwald Nox by speaking to Dogi. Reprisals will not expend your Nox gauge. That makes it sound like... other things will expend it? I don't know if I've ever noticed it go down. But then we've only- we've been forced to do two specific battles. And I think both of those might have happened before the rifts started opening. Retry battles with enhanced ritual relics, earn extra materials and experience points. Enhance your ritual relics and aim for higher ranks and scores. So far I haven't had a problem getting S ranks, but I was kind of wondering, like, are some of these things going to be designed to where you can't really S rank them until you go back later? Okay, so reprisal is when we revisit them. What does he say if we just talk? It's not just operless. It feels like we've only glimpsed the surface of an ocean of secrets. At least we managed to secure a base of operations we can call home. Harla sure pulled through for us. This bar turned out better than I could have hoped. Anyway, you're going out into the city, aren't you? I'll keep my ears open for rumors about the monsters in the prison. Alright, can we do anything useful here right now? The Saurians on- uh, oh, so here's the decoy, which there was uh, a mention of this in the results screen, I think. Uh, the decoy disorients enemies by drawing them away from the Sphene. Enemies will target and attack nearby decoys. Decoy durabilities will display beneath Sphene durability during battle. Decoys can be destroyed but will fully restore at the end of battle. Enhancing decoys increases durability and the number installed. Surviving decoys are added to your total score. Right, that's what I saw. I mean, I already got an S rank on the first two anyway, so... It's kind of crazy if the decoy can increase the score even more. I don't know, like, I, is that strictly an increase, or can it actually end up, like, lowering your score versus if you didn't have any decoys at all? I don't know. Uh, alright, so this also uses raw materials that we have plenty of. I haven't really needed to, uh... I don't think we've really let the Sphene get hit much at all yet, but I should probably think about upgrading these things. This feels like it's cheaper. That actually takes ore, which is also useful for equipment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one level there. I'm assuming it's not always gonna be... Yeah, so I think... No, actually, I think that is the same ingredients as last time. I'm assuming that the... 
Oh, you know what? I misread how much ore I had before. I think I would have needed six to upgrade my sword, so I just uh, screwed that over. Oh well. I wonder if decoys are actually a bad thing in a way, because like... Right now there is exactly one target that all of the enemies will beeline towards. Once you install decoys, then there's multiple targets. But it also means that there's fewer enemies focusing... Okay, so this, this went up. Because I think we needed one of each last time, and now we need two of each. <laughs> and now you need a different material altogether. Okay. So let's go with that for now. Let me look at this menu. Yeah, this is just the two that we did already. So... Which one of these was which? This, this had to be the first one. And then, yeah, this was the one for the underpass barrier specifically. But we've already S-ranked both of them, which it shows you right there. wonder why it says area unlocked, but has nothing there. I wonder if things show up here before you've actually found them. That would be weird, though. Like, maybe it's dashes there just because both of them so far were plot-related, but, like, the second one we did actually have to, like stumble across, but, like, it was necessary for story progress. But I imagine they would all be like that, so I don't know what function the area unlocked field has yet. Where's, uh... I was expecting to find, uh, Shantae and... What's-her-face down here? But the only people down here right now are Dogie and Parks. So I guess, is it Shantae or Shantae? I forget. Oh wait, maybe they're up here. Here we go. Whoa, didn't expect to find a joint like this here. Looks pretty cozy in here too. Maybe I'll grab me a drink or two. This Roman garrison's been getting redder in the face by the day. Can't say I blame them though, what with how rowdy those monsters get. Here's Yufa. Hey, Adol, could I grab you for a moment? What do you need, sorry, I'm busy. What do you need? Great, Shantae wanted me to show you something. Oh, do we actually have a job board now that isn't just wanted posters of us? Ta-da! This is where we're putting all the requests we get. That's really helpful. What kind of requests? I'm glad you asked. In the past few days, the Crimson King has made quite the impression on Balduke. It's gotten to the point where some people want him to help them with things. These requests are posted right here on this bulletin board. Chante said that completing them can improve the Monstrum's reputation. Whether or not you want to do them is up to you. Be sure to check the bulletin board whenever you come by the Dandelion, okay? Gain information on new quests from the Dandelion's bulletin board. Check the bulletin board to view the available quests. Examining a quest with a new icon will automatically add it to the quests tab of the journal. Most things will list the client as well as details about the request. So the funny thing is, like, this is what I was expecting to see in those boards in the center of town or whatever, but no, now we have our own board. With blackjack and hookers. Um, remember to check the bulletin board when new quests are added. Hidden quests, however, won't appear on the bulletin board. Dot, dot, dot. So there are hidden quests as well. Hello there, Adol Chen. As you can see, the dandelion is absolutely bursting at the seams. Hopefully it's not just a fad. We've only just opened. It'll be my job to win the hearts of every customer so they keep coming back. Just try not harassing every single one of them. Oh, that's right. You're going out for your work, aren't you? You'll need to keep your energy up, so let me know if you're feeling famished. I'll prepare a fabulous staff meal made special for hard workers like yourself. Sounds pretty good to me. It's now too soon to take you up on that. Oh, but of course, my dear. You'd get tired of the food if you were always eating them from the standard menu. So I thought you'd enjoy it more if the staff meals were different than the usual. I mean, I haven't had a single meal yet because they're all freaking expensive and I'm poor. You know, it might be hard to believe, but I used to helm a kitchen in a pub once. All I need are recipes and main ingredients, and I'll make you whatever your heart desires. Oh, and we can't forget about the small shopping fee for the other supplies. Wait, but I'm bringing you the ingredients, right? Dang, it's not free. <laughs> yeah, it's like I could buy meals from literally anywhere else. 
This is a business, my dear Adol. We have a responsibility to maintain it. Why don't you start with flour? With it, I can bake baguettes for you. Of course, has to be a French thing. I'm eager to see what kind of recipes you'll bring me, Adult Chen. It's silly that they translated Adult Chen to Adult Darling in the English. Like, Adult hyphen Darling just looks silly. And it's like, anybody who has watched anime for five minutes would understand hyphen Chen. Three ingredients to Chan take to have him cook for you. Preparing meals is cheaper than buying them from a store. Okay, so it is still cheaper, it's just not free. If Chante is unavailable, Yufu will prepare food for you in his stead. Supply recipes to- it again, spoiler alert, Chante will not always be here. Uh, supply recipes to expand the menu. Obtained recipes can be handed over to Chante by speaking to him. Certain townspeople can teach you new recipes. Pack a few meals before setting off on your journey. Now that I've said what I needed to say, I have some paperwork I should tend to at the Trading Bureau during my break. I'm leaving Yufa in charge while I'm gone, so help her if she needs it, alright? See, right there, he said adol Uh, so here's the baguette. Uh, yes, we do have flour, so I guess we'll buy a baguette. And that's the only thing he can make so far. Your friends on the Dandelion will now be assisting you in various ways. You must dispel the magical barriers in order to continue your investigation. Barriers are dispelled by overcoming the Grimwald Mox in a miasma vortex. Go to the main gates in the central district first, but keep an eye on the bulletin board. Miasma vortex will appear in front of a barrier once the Nox gauge exceeds 100. Oh, so you do want to make a point of filling it. How to fill the Nox Gauge. Complete quests and defeat lemurs. Okay, so I've noticed that uh, defeating lemurs will cause an in a small increase. Quests also increase it. That I was not expecting. Miasma Vortex appears before a barrier. Vortices are marked on the mini-map. So here's the other thing I'm wondering, though. Because presumably doing the Vortex will also reduce the meter. But you want the meter to be full near the end of the chapter, so you get more of those Twilight Shards or something, right? So it kind of seems like you always want it to be full. Alright, what quests do we have? Illness Inquiry. Folks in the Agricultural District have been taken ill one after another lately. We've had an outbreak... We've never had an outbreak this bad before. Can anyone help us find out what might be causing this? Maybe it's a pandemic and you should wear a mask. Um, no, we can't be arsed to wear those. Uh, let's see. Reward is local crops, reward is a thousand gold. Jeff, 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 D. Jeff. Uh, missing family report. Not my family, just so we're clear here. Asking for a friend. See, I'm a landlord, and one of my housing unit's tenants has been missing for about a week now. The house, well, has a bit of a, shall we say, history. Needless to say, I'm plenty worried. Come see me at the Fountain Plaza in the Central District if you'd like to know more. Alright, so do they show up on the map immediately? Is that what this is? Yeah, that's what that is. And then the other one is indeed in the- wait. No, that's the agricultural district one. There's another one up here that's just question marks. Okay, that's in Shantyville. I guess we'll go here first, because it's like right there. Pain of yours hasn't gone away for a while now, Jake. Why don't you go to the clinic already? I told you, I'm perfectly fine. I'm just genuflecting for the hell of it. Stop overreacting, there's no need to bother the doc over some belly aching. I say that now, but I know you'll change your tune the second it gets worse. Is, is everything okay here? You're Kaya, right? The one who put in a request at the bar? Oh, I suppose you must have seen it then. Yeah, something about the people around here getting sick lately? That's right, whenever it is, it just hit poor Jake here just this morning. Oh, stop it. What kind of farmer with a soul cries to this doctor, the doctor over something like this? Not this. Ugh. Apparently, uh, they become sick and start sounding like Ryu from Ninja Gaiden. 
Steady there, Cropper. Quit trying to look tough. Anyway, we don't know where this came from or how to stop it. But the knights in the garrison both say they're too busy to investigate. Yeah, they're busy doing nothing. They never investigate anything. We ask you two to try and find out what's causing all this? Sure. Oh, thank you. Your help means a lot to us. Not at all. We never just leave someone in need to suffer. You said the pain started this morning. Have you eaten anything unusual lately? Oh, not that I can recall. Started my morning farm work the same way as always, with a fresh loaf and a cup of water. It must be the bread, it must be the water. I was thinking just the same. The bread would have been just baked after all, it has to be the water. Speaking of which, it was probably drawn from that well over there, right? But if we used that well for the farm too, we'd be in big trouble if it were infected. Case it's probably worth a quick investigation or two. You should take Jake in to see a doctor, Kaya. We'll go check out the well while you do. Alright, I'll do just that. Thanks again, kiddos. Sorry for all the bother. Well, here's the well. And a pretty, um, well worn one at that. Bonk. Just the people here never really needed to get their water anywhere else. Check inside it. There's something up with it for sure. Are you sure that's okay? There's no other way to investigate it, though. You can go whenever you're ready. Actually, come to think of it, what kind of equipment does she have? She also has leather armor, and then I gave her this stuff. Oh yeah, so he's actually level 11 right now. The, the interesting thing was, when we were very briefly um, other at all in the cell, he was level 10. You know what, I should have saved. You know what, I also wanted to do something in here. I want to try increasing the horizontal speed on the camera, because I feel like I spend a lot of time panning around. And I mean, like, ostensibly, I have a, uh, you know, an analog stick, so you can pan slowly if you want to, although the dead zone seems pretty large on it. Ah! Atta, look! Yeah, that's a lot of them. What are these? Mushrooms? How do they even get in here? Those are mushrooms? I mean, I didn't know what the hell they were, but I did not interpret them as mushrooms, but I guess, maybe. Forget it, let's just get rid of them. Oh, I got a new skill? Alright, time to equip that then. You know, I just, I just halfway died, it's fine. There were a lot of them, but I just figured go ham on them, because I know he can kill them quickly. <sighs> Who would have thought there'd be monsters inside this well? Must have been contaminating the water. No wonder everyone's been getting sick. Yeah, the guards wouldn't have done shit about that, obviously. Judging from the interior of the well, those monsters haven't been here very long. As far as you can tell, the residents should be able to use the well like normal again. Well, that settles that for now. We'll tell Kaya and Jake about what we found. Uh, there's the entrance. Is there anything else in here? It doesn't look like it. Uh... Oh, you're supposed to run out the well. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's good that they have a little message down there to remind you. It's like, is there a rope or something? Oh, look over there. There you are. These herbs will get that stomach of yours all better in no time. 
pain should go away, but promise me you won't overdo things, all right? Call it a day and get some rest. Ugh, you're a real lifesaver, Doc. I'll be sure to take it easy for today. I can't thank you enough, Doctor. Oh, you're back. How did things go? I recount the strange events that occurred within the well. There were what in the well? You're telling me I've been drinking monster bath water the whole time? Well, also, how many goddamn puns are we gonna have? All's well that ends well. Now we have nothing to worry about. I am curious, though, just how did you two manage to get rid of them all? Um, we attacked them. That wasn't so hard, really. The monsters did it for us. Yeah, we should do that because we're trying to, like, promote the monsters, right? <laughs> That's right, the Crimson King and the White Cats strode right on in to save the day. The monsters? I didn't even so much as notice them. I always found them a bit frightening, but maybe they aren't so bad after all. By the way, Jake, I'm glad you seem to be... Oh, that's her. By the way, Jake, I'm glad you seem to be feeling better. And, uh, who's this? Oh, right. Kaya ran to the dock here over by the main gates. Thank heavens she did. To tell you the truth, I could hardly even walk. I could genuflect just fine, though. <sighs> Probably because you spent all your energy trying to hide it. You're lucky you caught me just before I'd gone to visit Dr. Eric. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, Dr. Eric is who I expected them to call. Who the heck is this? That's right, I'm a traveling doctor studying medicine across the world. Alright then, Jake. Remember not to strain yourself. Take him home and make sure he gets some rest, would you, Kaya? Well, you can bet I will. But before I do, I have a little reward for you all. These are from our fields. Fresh as can be. You know, made made with that, uh, contaminated bath water. Hope you enjoy them. Yum. We got more flour, we can make more baguettes. Wow, they look just delicious, thank you so much. I think nothing of it, it's the least we can do to show our thanks. Come on now, Farmer Jake, let's get you back home. All right, all right. Sorry for not introducing myself earlier, by the way. Name is Serati. Be around town while I help out the clinic, so feel free to call if you need me. Of course, it's probably better if you don't need a doctor. But I get the feeling you two know your way around a little rough and tumble. Wait, what? In any case, I'd better go get Doctor and let Dr. Eric know about today's incident. I'd be seeing you two I'll be seeing you two later. Uh kinda sounds like we've been made, and she knows exactly who we are, and I already suspect there's more to Serati than meets the eye. That's the coolest doctor I've ever seen. She seems really put together, kinda like Carla in a way. There's something else about her too, I can't quite put my finger on it. Uh-huh. Anyway, that just about takes care of that request. You're on our own way, Alright, so that increases, like, 30. Alright, I did say I hadn't saved yet, so let's do that. Uh, alright, so, where was... There were two other things. There's the question mark one up there, and then there's the missing family report here. This guy, I reckon. Yep, it's Jeff, Jeff, D. Jeff. Oh, are you perhaps here in regards to my request? Oh, that's right, you're Jeffrey, right? You prefer that some of your tenants disappeared? You two be, appear to be rather young. I have to wonder if you're up to the task. And again, this could prove, prove a rather pressing predicament. I can tell you more about it, providing you're willing to accept my request. I mean, I feel like you need to tell us about it first. Thanks heavens, I'll get straight to it then. You see, I own quite a few properties here in the Central District, but I haven't been able to get a hold of the family living in one of my townhomes. You think they've gone missing? Oh, they aren't exactly the type to skip on rent and run off into the night. That alone is worrisome enough, but with all the talk of people being spirited away lately... Eh, they're in the prison, no big deal. 
It's when people just vanish into thin air. Rumors like that spread in Baldeep sometimes. Rumors are, of course, only rumors, but... It has been a week since their disappearance. I was about to go inquire around their previous residence at Artisan Lane. I was wondering if you could do the same here, as much as you can, that is. Okay. That I will, any thanks. The town home in question is behind the Pendleton Company and the Cathedral. Perhaps one of the residents near it will be able to tell you something. Thank you again for all the help, I'm counting on you. No problem. First things first, we should ask around. We can start with the back streets near their house. Is that, is that where the two cats are constantly staring each other down? Uh, I mean, we're basically right there now. Yeah, that's that landmark, I believe, is... Actually, no. That's not the graffiti on the wall, right? Wasn't the graffiti back there somewhere? It might not even be there anymore. But yeah, we've got a bunch of markers for where exactly to ask around anyone. Appearances? You mean those people from the back streets, right? But it was the boogie monsters who took them. Uh, can you describe them? You don't already know? They're these weird murky monster things that show up in town sometimes. Usually they're invisible, but some days they pop up in the corners of the streets. People say seeing them curses you with bad luck. This long-standing folktale here in Balduke. A few months ago, I would have considered it just a rumor myself. After finding out about the knocks, I'm starting to think otherwise. The other one's back here, or... No, wait, one of them's right here, apparently. Have you heard? One of the families in the neighborhood disappeared just like that. They've got the worst luck, I tell you. Almost makes you want to move out. Worst luck? Oh, we actually happen to be looking into the matter. Do you know anything that might help? Afraid not. The kids were always quick with a cheery hello whenever I saw them. One thing's for certain, though, they weren't the kind to up and leave without a word. Let's see, thanks for your time. Alright, they didn't really tell us much that we didn't already know. Uh, so the other one is back there. Don't know if this will get me there any quicker or not. Yep, this is exactly where the cats are staring each other down. Hey, we can fight stuff. You want to know about that family that got whisked away? Well, the father was a smithy, and not just any smithy either. Apparently, he got kicked out of the craft guild for making cursed weapons. Cursed how? How should I know? What, you wanted to buy some? I mean, he wasn't a bad guy or anything, but honestly, I wanted nothing to do with him. He wasn't well liked. No way to know if that relates to the disappearance, though. Well, we've heard enough concerning rumors to last us a while. No one seems to actually know where the family went. Maybe something really did happen to them after all. I agree. Something about this gives me a sinking feeling. Oh, god damn it. I think we might already know what it is we're up against. According to Jeffrey, it should be at the end of this alleyway. Let's go check it out. Ah, oh, well, gee, there's a freaking thing right in front of it. Can I go in, though? Well, that explains things. I'll say this vortex leads to the Grimwald Knox. It's a little smaller than usual, somehow. Considering where it is, it's gotta have something to do with that missing family. We should head inside it once we're all ready and prepared. So is this going to summon everybody again? Or is it just us? Another Grimwald Nox, isn't it? We've been here before. 
It's familiar at least. Gamers, they're here! This is no place for anybody to be. We have to go look for them. Alright, so we're not defending anything this time, we're actually hunting things here, so that's new. Okay, I think those are only weak to her weaponry. Well, there's a... Yeah, there's a big-ass barrier up there. And we can't get up there, presumably until we kill everything else. Oh, hello. Maybe they're actually here. Tito! Get back, Arsh. No, oh, Tito, Arsh. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, okay. I guess the middle-aged man is that guy. I'm totally misvoicing those. Don't give up yet. Monstrums. Stay behind us, okay? Anna, let's go. I can't control her very well. That was better. Okay, she got a new skill. Let's equip that. Uh, what kind of thing is this? Scratch an enemy, forcing them to drop an item most of the time. Oh, really? Sometimes it's hard to tell that things are already dead. <laughs> cool, you did it, you won! You're the monsters, right? I heard about you guys. Hope everyone's okay. Uh, you're the people that went missing, right? はい。自分はテイトと言います。父の後を継ぐために見習いの家事職人をしています。でも何が何だかわからないうちにこんな場所に迷い込んでしまって。来てくださって本当に心強いです。あ、こちらは妹のアーチです。ああ、耳が生えてる。ふさふさの尻尾も赤い髪の人はちょっと怖いけど、目が綺麗でかっこいいかも。それに、はい、すっごく強そうだね。
they spend time in the Nox a lot. Whenever we return from the Grimwald Nox, it's like time hadn't moved at all. So we should count ourselves lucky that we made it in time. This is so confusing! I wasn't scared at all, because Daddy was here with us the whole time. Right, Tito? Yeah, that's right, Arsh. What are you doing in a place like this, anyway? Why were the lemurs trying to hurt you? I mean, like, who wouldn't they try to hurt? They try to hurt everybody. Oh. That? I reckon I'm here because of this hammer of mine. A hammer? Our family of blacksmiths has adopted some unorthodox methods through the generations. This hammer is used to forge sacramentals, objects with the power to exorcise demons. I have an inkling that this was what attracted those demons. Sacramentals? I didn't know you could forge things like that. I mean, we have one, right? That was the thing that we found from the mid-boss in the first dungeon that gave us the ability to heal while standing still. If the hammer trusts monsters, then they could be... I like the one on the right that, like, immediately Adam draws in this, his sword and the monster's like, Dude, don't cut me, bro! Ah! More monsters, there's so many of them! Dad, let's get out of here! I'm sorry. I wish I could, but I can't come with you. That's right. Oh, okay. Avralis! I didn't think you would get involved with this. We are in an incomplete Grimwald box. Until the source is eliminated, the mirrors will continue to appear, and it will become a complete Grimwald. Do what must be done before that happens. It's the hammer, right? Huh. <laughs> Alright, you have me figured out. Regret is a powerful thing. I realized that after becoming this. I just wanted to see my two Rugrats one more time. I'd wager I'm in for a real scolding when I meet your mom on the other side. Ed? No, don't give him the hammer! <laughs> thought the point was we need to destroy the damn thing. I... Sorry, son. I wanted to be there to see you become a fine blacksmith like me. But I now know that won't happen. So you're gonna be an even greater one. Arsh, I have a very important task for you. Make sure your brother doesn't fall. Hey, I'm just sorry I won't be there to walk you down the aisle someday. Daddy! Ugh, that, I have no more regrets. They they just did, like, the, the standard, like, do-do-do-do-do. Like, that, that's a very... Standard East theme from the entire series. That's actually that that's the melody that um that they play on the harmonica in the first game, I think. Oh, you can't leave us, Daddy. And what about all the stuff that you were gonna teach me? I've already taught you everything that I can. Do you now? Work hard and become your own blacksmith. I'll always believe in you two. And I'll always be nearby, watching over you. Always. So are we saying that he was causing the Grimwald, the incomplete Grimwald for some reason? But why? Daddy? Dad, why? Why couldn't you come with us? Arsh, Tito. Is their dad? It would seem he has relinquished his lingering regrets. Rest assured, the hammer will never call forth the Grimwald again. I leave the rest to you. All right, that still doesn't make a whole lot of sense, though. But how did that hammer call it forth to begin with? Just what is the Grimwald Nox? I want Kreisha left with Tito and Arsh, comforting them all the way. After reporting the sibling's safety to Jeffrey, they then brought them to the dandelion.
This was supposed to be a side quest. They're making this out to be way more important than a side quest. So, two years ago, your dad became ill, and he... I'm so sorry, Tito. Don't be. I wanted so badly to see him, even though I knew deep down I couldn't. I know Daddy's alive. He's alive, and I'm gonna find him. Marsh. After losing both their parents, their only solace was each other. Shame. There's no question in that. What about the elephant in the room? Yeah, how did someone other than the monsters get into the Grimwald? Everless thinks that this was caused by Grisco's feelings of regret. Your meeting with a departed individual is ample evidence of extraordinary phenomena. It is clear that much is still to be learned about the Grimwald Nox. You have to do something before anyone else gets hurt. You have a job to do, Adol. You're gonna fight all these monsters? For generations, my family forged sacramentals containing the power to exercise demons. Maybe that's why all these weird things happened to things my dad forged. Got to the point where other craftsmen ran him out of Artisan Lane for it. Even then, my dad cared for Arsh and me, no matter how sick or difficult it got for him. That was odd wording. No matter how sick or difficult it got for him. In other words, no matter how difficult it got for him, but also no matter how sick it got for him. I, I, I think I think NIS America might need some, some new copy editors. I know there were times he regretted teaching me to be a blacksmith, too. But after seeing him and meeting you, I know what I have to do. I'm not a full-fledged blacksmith yet, but I'm gonna help you with everything I've got. I'm sure that's what he would've wanted. Tito. Me too, I'm gonna help too. For Daddy and for you too, Tito. You two wish to join our cause. Hmm. I'm not so sure about this. Not so sure about what? I say why not? The more the merrier. I wouldn't mind having a sacramental. I've already got one. So the can't just leave them. Yes, I agree with that all. Children can't work at the bar, of course, but you seem to be helpful in your own right. We've all got to pitch in so that the monstrums may fight at their very best. Thus, we give them something to do to keep them out of trouble. We can keep close watch over them this way. Not you too, Parks. Okay, okay, you can stay. Really? You mean it? Hey, we can stay! We can stay! That's not gonna be easy, you know. Official staff members of the Dandelion are expected to work hard, no exceptions. But we always help each other out. With teamwork, we can do anything. Excuse me, Yufa, you're promoting child labor. Yes, ma'am, you got it. And thus, Tito and Arsh became the Dandelion's newest recruits. They pledged to aid the Monstrums by contributing their unique skills. So, yeah, a side quest became like, major plot point, because now we have new people. Arsh has a warehouse? Okay. Tita will now assist you in the Grimwald Knox. I feel like we shouldn't be, like, bringing a kid into that again, but okay. Tita and Arsh are at the smithy, you should go and speak with them. Oh yeah, also, I never- well, first of all, let's save. Second of all, I never looked at... Oh, what menu is that even in? Is that in here, technically? Oh, we actually do have, like, new stuff in here, because, like, it shows their, uh, support skills. Temp unlimited skill use, damn. Remove and tempor temporarily null ail ailments. Oh, yeah, and we have character notes. So, it's interesting that even Adol has character notes. Also, wait, is that supposed to be their ages? Adol's 24 now? Uh, began her chivalrous thief activities as White Cat to make up for her family's role in the current state of the Shantytown. One step forward. Having found her way, she decided to open up a flower shop in the Shantytown, helping in whatever way she can step by step. Okay, so those actively unlock as the plot progresses. Her eyes are always closed. I mean, I feel like that's every character in this game, the way that they freaking render them.
He's got a one-hit KO support skill, although apparently all that does is reduce enemy strength and defense, which is not a one-hit KO in my book. Temporary battle gauge regen. Revive and temporary hit point regen. That seems very useful. <laughs> they, they, they don't even hold off saying he's the fabulous bar manager. Uh, temporary will reduce damage taken. That also seems good. Alright, so he has relic repairs. I'm not sure if that's referring to, like, the decoys or what. And then he has the same support ability as... Like, doesn't Krisha have the same exact... Yeah, it's a different name, but it's the same exact effects. Because of Krisha's potential, that Carla is so tough on her blood relation has no bearing on her love for her sister. Alright, so we, we already knew her support skills. Even they have character notes. And there's Serati, that we just met. Um, but what was that? I guess that was what I was looking for, because that does show their support skills and stuff. Uh, oh, there's another new quest, apparently. Wait, no. That's... Why did that say new when I already did it? That was one I did a while ago, wasn't it? Look at all these monster pages, good grief. Anxi Gas is apparently the name of the mushroom thing. Those things look kind of hilarious. Okay, so yeah, they're split by area, and then you've got all the ones that you find in the Grimwald, basically. So, where are the ones... Wait, some of these are exactly the same. Like, that's the same as this, but it's a higher base level. That seems kind of annoying that, like... So, I, yeah, okay, this is pertaining to chapters of the game. Seems kind of annoying that, like, it repeats the same enemies over and over again. And then these are the bosses we fought. And the Guardsman is over in his own etc. category. I don't know, does he say anything new? We don't have any map worth showing him. We've decided to welcome Tito and Arsh into the Dandelion for this foreseeable future. Everyone on staff has agreed to support them. It's why I hope that they'll come to think of this place as a second home. Yeah, what happens to their first home then? Because, I mean, they did have one. Also, why is this map so huge? Did I accidentally hit the button? I probably accidentally hit the button. Yeah, it becomes very large when you do that. Alright, so where exactly are they? Because they're not supposed to be up in the bar, right? So wait, are they actually on the map here? Oh yeah, they totally are. Um, right through here? Yeah, here we go. You came, ain't all? In addition to enhancing your weapons, I can also forge accessories for you. Come by any time you need something done. Tito can enhance your weaponry as well as craft accessories and sacramentals. You can enhance weapons on hand with materials alone. I wonder if this works exactly the same way as the other blacksmith we had already found. Use materials and gold to craft new sacramentals and accessories by selecting craft sacramentals slash equipment. Oh, you can actually compare. Okay. Accessories with similar effects cannot be worn together. Oh, that's silly. I forget if that was always a limitation or not. Got those Sacramentos. I'm not as good as my dad at forging them. The only way I can get up 
get one up to pars with a rubric, a kind of blueprint for making them. And I only have the one that my dad passed down to me. If you find any more of them, I'd appreciate if you brought them to me. Thanks, Adol. Don't forget that I can make other things, too. Just let me know what I can do, okay? Give Tito rubrics to expand the selection of sacramentals you can craft. Sacramentals grant various benefits to the entire party. And any rubrics you find on your journey over to Tito. Can't wait to start forging something awesome for you, Adol. Um, wait, it says I have 16 copper ore? I thought it said I had, like, four before. I'm really confused now. Um... Damn, I didn't realize her weapon was that good compared to Adol's. I could... I could try, uh... No, I could try upgrading these, but I'm kind of curious what, what other weapons are available first. Uh, so what do we have over here? A bunch of stuff that we don't have the materials for. A tiny gold patch made from a rabbit's hide sent to guide its owner to great riches. wonder what exactly that means. Gold acquisition rate. Okay. Uh... These leather necklaces, though. I still don't understand why you would make a necklace out of leather, but okay. So we can already... We already see all of the second tier stat boost items in the crafting menu here. And also a couple of talismans which require amulets to start with, so they're presumably like a... I would assume the amulet already does something in itself. Somehow I thought I had one of these already. And you can compare against whatever is currently... Oh, it does say duplicate there, so yeah, I do have one of these. And it tells you that they can equip it, or they have it equipped, but it's in the other slot. That's that's exactly what they have equipped there. It seems kind of weird, because you would have to remember what they have equipped in each slot when comparing accessories. So, like, I'm I'm sure that'll be useful for, like, weapons and armor, but for accessories, it feels kind of awkward. Alright, so what are you doing? Welcome to the storeroom. Elga said I could be the protector of Dandelion's storeroom. So from now on, I'm in charge of all the food and supplies that you guys collect. I was actually going to ask you to bring some more supplies from outside. Then you could exchange them for even better things here. Sounds like fun, right? Right? Wait, why should I have to exchange them for things we already have stored? Materials collected in a large enough quantity can be traded for- Oh, okay. It's this. Yeah, this is something that's been in the previous games, I think at least since Salsetta? This will be necessary to enhance weapons and craft equipment, so trade materials proactively. We can also sell things to her. Okay. Uh, okay, so we can get Dark Drops. Does it show how many of them you have? Or do- I mean, I'm pretty sure I have those. Oh yeah, it does. The owned number underneath that. Um, so I already have 9 Dark Drops and 10 Faint Drops. I might just leave that as is. These, I feel like, will end up being useful. Okay, so wait. Faint Drops can be exchanged for either of these things. You gotta trade two things up to get one. There's a lot of stuff in here, though. Oh, you can trade small leaves for glossy leaves, okay. Uh, small leaves and aromatic lumber for marl flowers, which are useful for healing stuff. So, when we eventually have way too much crap... Oh, I can trade raisins for black figs, okay. 
Wait. Oh, Black Fig is the revived version, because Raisins also restore 100 hit points. They just don't die, and you don't need these. Uh... Oh, are White Nuts what restore 200 hit points? I thought there was something else that did that. So you can trade up to all the revived versions. But you have to trade up four to get one, which seems pretty steep. But it is pretty funny that I can also sell stuff. Wow, those things sell for a lot, but yeah, you wouldn't really want to sell those. I didn't know I had a defense elixir. Wait, what did that say? You can now use the map for something. I don't know what that said. Uh, we could check the... Elk, maybe? Maybe it'll say something? How did I never read these? Okay, well, this one was probably pretty recent. Breakfall. When knocked away from an enemy attack, pressing right bumper right as you land will allow you to quickly recover. I think that was a thing before. Also, I'm still thinking I should probably figure out a better control scheme for dashing or something. There's a lot of these. Oh, here's the decoy. Changing difficulties. Those seeking a challenge can increase the game's difficulty in the system menu. Oh, so you can change that at any time. So this is all stuff we've seen. I don't think it shows those little tips anywhere, unfortunately. So I don't know what that little tip said that I kind of accidentally mashed through too quickly. It said something would show up on the map, I just don't know what. Uh, I guess the other thing we can check is, are there any new things in the legend here? I don't think so. I mean, apparently the dandelion has a, its own map marker now. Here. No quests are currently available. Peter and Arch, those poor children. No child should have to experience something so terrible. I hope they'll place their trust in us. For starters, I think I'll bring them a nice warm beverage. Right, so I need I need to find recipes for him, I need to find rubrics for Tito. Tito and Arch are really mature for kids their age, but they're still only kids. Just can't help but worry about them. This guy's saying the same thing he did before. Wait, was there another one over here? I talked to him already. I guess that's it. Uh, let me make sure... Yeah, I've equipped everything that both of them have so far. Uh, one thing I wanted to do... The clinic. Actually, maybe I should get another potion since, like, I have the empty bottle. Oh. 
Well, she found her way here. Oh, stopping by for a visit already? You don't have to be so eager. I plan on staying in town for a while, you know. I received a letter from this young lady here a little while ago. She asked if she could help with my clinic while studying the local medical procedures. I get a lot of patients in a city like this, so her assistance is more than welcome. I can tell you're quite adept if your deeds in the agricultural district are any indication. I'll be expecting a great deal from you, Sir Adi. <laughs> Why, of course, Dr. Eric. I wouldn't dare let you down. Alright, uh... Yeah, the other potions get kind of expensive, huh? Uh, well, that's the only thing that I have the materials for anyway, I guess. Sparkling Leaf, I'm guessing, is... one level up from Glossy Leaf. So yeah, we'll just do another one of those. Alright, now... I forget what she has. I need to find the armory dude again. Oh, she also sells this. So we can buy them from her. But I tend to be a hoarder and only go with stuff that I find. Huh, that assistant of mine has been nowhere to be seen these past few days. She's difficult to miss, so I'm certain someone has seen her. And yet, it's as if she disappeared into thin air. Should I report this to the Hieroglyph Knights? Eh, they probably won't do anything about it anyway. Uh... Oh, this is the custodian again. I'll be, if it isn't Miss Karisha. It's good to see you here today. Hello, Mr. Vesta. You're hard at work today, as always. Didn't know you worked here, too, in addition to the Central District. Ha! <laughs> I've lived in this town for much longer than I'd care to admit. I'm very fond of it. Times have changed, and people don't share my love for it. What with the littering and graffiti? Oh! Is this- is he gonna ask us to do something with the graffiti? Is this worn-out old man something to do and strive for each and every day? It's true, I haven't seen much graffiti at all. Uh... Well, I have seen a fair share of it, and I still don't actually know what the point is. Yeah, so it seems like you sta you standard just get uh, three knocks every time you do one of those. And we're probably going to have to bring it up to a hundred sometime soon to uh, do something about a barrier somewhere. Oh, this is one of the red ones, so maybe we can get something good from this. Uh, I could have just ran over the... Res a relief point. <laughs> Strength elixir? Okay, yeah, that seems good. Also, that gave me five, didn't it? I keep doing that. I keep double tap. I keep tapping start once and then double tapping A instead of double tapping start to get to the save menu. Uh, does this guy have anything? Oh, right. We need to find landmarks for this guy, right? Uh, we've got a couple to report. That brings your total discovered landmarks up to one. Not bad at all, keep it up. Thought I found more than one, but okay. Also, before I forget, we have that other quest in here, don't we? Yeah, we do. Uh, I guess this is the closest we can get from fast travel. There's also a thing here somewhere? Wait, so that one's four question marks and this one's three question marks. <laughs> Got a lot of question marks. Uh, 
Is it supposed to be here? flower shop gal. Go ahead and have a bite. Shouldn't taste too bad. Pretty much. It does smell nice. Here's the recipe. You can make it yourself if you fancy. Oh, we got a baked potato recipe. Nice. Cool. Well, now that I know that I can make these things myself, I might as well bring it back and see what what's actually required. Shit, 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 where the hell that kitty can't get off to? What do you expect me to do with all this debt I racked up at the casino, eh? Just gonna hog all the coin to yourself? Some savior, where's your heart? Um, sounds like you need to save yourself. Okay, but I don't know where this question mark actually is pointing, because I didn't see anything up there, which is why I came down here. Unless it's, like, up there or something. Yes. Get well, I found one of those, so that's something, I guess. Also, I guess I'm up here now. I'm pretty sure I can't go further up. That's got a barrier. Uh, that's got mountains or something. Yeah, that's also got a barrier. Okay. Oh, there's another one right over here. I don't know if I can get to that. Oh, I can. Interesting. There's a cemetery. Well, we've just been teased with that, but we can't actually get in. That's interesting, we're awfully high up now. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm all the way the hell up here. Probably shouldn't bother him. Um yeah, there's just barriers all over the darn place here. Damn. Okay. Um, but there was a quest down there, so I guess we'll go back. Miss Cretia, you're back already? Yes, um, I wanted to introduce you to Adol. Adol, this is Hannah. She works with me here at the flower shop. Wait, I didn't realize the flower shop was in Shantytown. Okay, it apparently is. She used to be an employee at Pendleton a long while back. Oh yes, I was delighted when Miss Cretia contacted me about opening up her own shop. I quit my job after my husband passed, you see, and I've been stuck in a rut ever since. I figured taking this job would be the perfect chance for me to start over again. I'll be minding the store whenever Miss Cretia is out, so do stop by whenever you can. Oh, now that I think about it, Miss Cretia, there's something I wanted to ask. Ask? You mean, of me? If it's about the store, you can always tell me about it later. Well, it isn't about exactly within the scope of the job, per se, but I was hoping to ask for your help on something. Have the time, that is. Nada. Thanks, at all. So what was it you wanted to ask, Hannah? Huh? Well, it's about the people living here in Shantytown, actually. Quite a few of them still have yet to give the shop a chance. Really? But I made sure everyone here knew. They know a new store opened up, of course, but they won't even come near. All they see is the Pendletons opening up a shop in the Shantytown for God knows what reason. That misunderstanding seems to have led to a bit of bias against us. See, let's say I haven't noticed some people thinking of us in that way. Never expected us to garner so much interest either, being a flower shop and all. Be that it is May, our goal is to sow life back into these streets and their people. To do that, I'll have to foster a more personal connection between each resident and our shop. 
That sounds like a lot of work. Could have just opened the shop somewhere else. I was a representative of the Pendleton Company, but it's Cretia Pendleton. I had a feeling you might say something like that, Miss Cretia. Let me get the heart of the matter in that case. There are three people who most blatantly avoid our shop. Otto, Ivan, and Largus. Yeah, the, the drunk gambling pieces of shit, right? I mean, do we really want them here? They've practically been living off the gold they got from all that white cat commotion. Apparently, they've been down in the mouth ever since they stopped give, ever since she stopped giving out coins. So that's what's going on. Just have to do something about it. What to do exactly? Whatever it is, a florist can. Or you don't need to solve everything. Uh. I guess I'll go with that. Or a florist can, huh? Anna, could you tell me a little more about those three? Let them each a flower that suits them. It'll be like a delayed grand opening example. Oh, what a wonderful idea. Here, I'll tell you what I know. The knowledge she'd gained from Hannah, Cretia selected a flower for each of the men. After placing it, them in a basket, she and Adol were ready to set off. So we're just delivering it to these guys? I was wondering if we were going to have to figure out which ones. Well, it's all you from here, Miss Cretia. Ivan and Kavada should be right around here in the shantytown. We might have to search the central district, district for Largus, though. I believe he manages a boating service by the canal, if memory serves. Thanks, Hannah. We'll make sure we find them. Okay, Adol, time to do some customer relations. Thanks. Alright, well, two of them should be right here. You're Kabato, aren't you? Risha, owner of Le Petit Fleuriste. Nice to meet you. Well, if it ain't the little Miss Florist herself, Pendleton must really be raking in the dough to open up shop on this dump. I've been doing pretty well myself thanks to the white cat, until recently at least. I haven't seen her around in a while. Now I'm up to my ears in debt. I'm sorry to hear that. I can't even get back to my missus in the country the way things are going. Only saving grace my life's gotten out of the old game and gamble. Well, maybe if you didn't do that, you wouldn't be in this rut, idiot. You can't just go on like this. Even if the white cat comes back, it'll only tide you over for so long. Her charity alone won't help you out of the situation you're in, I'm afraid. So, if gambling yourself into debt is making you this miserable, maybe you're really saving grace just somewhere else entirely. Okay. Here she gives Kabato a petite pink flower. In the language of flowers, this symbolizes hope for the future. I may be out of line saying any of this, but know that I'm in your corner. As for what the saving grace is, I have a feeling you already know. Ah, you really think you know it all, don't you, kid? Get out of here. You're making my drink sour. Sorry. Leave you to it. Alright. Next one is near the entrance. Actually, I could probably fast travel to it. Eh. Like halfway between, anyway. You're the florist. What do you want from me? Well, I heard you'd fallen on hard times, so I just thought maybe there was something I could do to help. Huh. Well, aren't you a nice one? You really don't need to go out of your way for someone like me. After all, I'm already beyond a lost cause. This being glean means higher taxes for me than the Romans. And what wages I do get don't amount to much. Hard work isn't, doesn't really pay off around here. I understand. It's hard, to feel, it's hard not to feel that way over just about any job. But you know, money isn't the only thing hard work is good for. So hang in there for just a while longer, okay? Lucia hands Ivan a dazzling yellow flower. In the language of flowers, this symbolizes a glimmer of hope. I just know you have a calling out there destined to make you shine. And, um, if you'd like an example, feel free to stop by our store. If we can help show you just how fulfilling a job well done can be. I'll think about it. I mean, <laughs> it's like... I'm- I'm poor and my job gets taxed to high hell and therefore I'm still poor. Here, buy flowers. That'll solve it. Yup. I- Like I said, maybe it would have been easier to open the store literally anywhere else. Um, guess I'll save. I didn't actually mean to go in there, though. Third one is over here. Uh... 
that's a lot of question marks, actually. One of them is the, uh, the Hawk Graffiti. That's supposedly a landmark? And I haven't found it yet, huh? That's right, I got our- speaking of landmarks, I can warp to those. Also, I am wondering... I was wondering if there would be a, uh, a vortex here. Although I might need to actually have enough... I'm, I might need to have the meter filled for it. Is there someone down there? Is that where I'm actually supposed to be going? Yup. Huh? What? You two looking to get across? Not exactly. My name is Krisha. I run the flower shop in, shop in the shantytown. I wanted to reach out to you about it personally, Marcus. What do you want me to do with that? Can't exactly fill my stomach on flowers. I gotta drop by if the white cat was still around and dish me some handouts. Now that she's stopped, I'm back to working here on a lower salary than ever. Got any idea what that does to a man's dignity, crawling back on my knees after quitting? Uh, it's all about the money these days. Just once I'd like to get by without working. This goes to show how irresponsible the white cat was for what she did. All those reckless donations only made people worse off in the end. You're getting real choked up about this. Listen, I'm just blowing off some steam, that's all. Good things come as scarce as ice and hell in this world, so it struck a nerve with me. Well, there's plenty of good left in the world, you just have to look past the gold coins. Push your hands largest a bell-shaped flower. In the language of flowers, this symbolizes a return to happiness. I hope things start looking up for you soon, sir. I truly mean that. Oh. Thanks. I guess I'll see you about swinging by your shop when I've got some time to kill. Of course, we hope to see you soon. It's the last of them. We've spoken to everyone now. Let's make our way back to the shop. Uh, maybe I should try finding this landmark first. I'm kind of curious about that. Because it would have to be, like, on top of the Pendleton building or something. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Alright, I got away with that. Uh, but not that, though. Wait, no, it's next to the Pendleton building. This is the Ron building. Oh, well. Oh, well that kind of worked. I don't know if it ever told me it was a landmark before, if I just didn't notice I didn't realize hovering over it tells you specifically what kind of point of interest it is. Uh, it's gotta be, like, up there, though. Uh... I mean, I am kind of centered on it. Holy shit, what? There was something up there. But I can't really stop there on a dime, and I kind of need to stop there on a dime. Oh, wait, I can do that. Okay. There was a grapple point there, too. I didn't realize it was two symbols on top of each other. Good <sighs> Jeez, that's, that's a hard-to-get one, because you can't really see it from anywhere. But meanwhile, now I can see, like, everything from here, so that's pretty cool. And the scary thing is, like... Actually, I guess this is kind of the, the center of town, isn't it? Curious that that's already on the map. I don't think I've technically been there, unless I was there in the flashback. Maybe this town isn't as maybe the city isn't as big as I thought. But there is still the matter of like the parts that are barricaded off right now. But also, so is this, this is a fast travel point now, right? Yeah, it totally is. So that's interesting. Seems like you could maybe get a lot of places from here eventually. Where 
are we heading back to? Over there. Wait, what? Why? Apparently, if I press the menu button while I'm in the map, it prompts you to warp to the dandelion basement for some reason. see how far I can get with this. This is probably barriered anyway. Yep, it is. But I did get all the way back into Shantytown anyway. So that's pretty funny. Wait, what was that beeping about. Was that just prompting me to talk? Yeah, it was just prompting me to talk. Uh, isn't she actually under here? Nope, she's further back. Welcome back, Miss Kreisha. How did promoting the store go? Oh, honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure I helped them. I mean, of course you didn't. You asked them to come here and give you money for flowers, which they really don't need, and especially when they don't have money. All I could really do is let them know how I felt. Turns out this selling life thing is a little harder than I expected, Miss Kreisha. Thanks, I don't. I won't let this get me down. Let me, let Petite Fleuriste is only just getting started. Making your dreams a reality is never easy. Except to give it all I've got. All oh, right, I actually had an idea while running around the Central District. What do you think about pulling up a sign on the street that connects it to the Shanty Town? I was thinking it could help bring in some much-needed bustle around here. I think that's a wonderful idea. I think anybody who doesn't already live in the shantytown won't want to come in here just to buy flowers, but... Alright. We still have some leftover materials from building the shop. Why don't we get started? Oh? Well, I'll be. If it isn't, Ivan and Largus. This is your first time here, isn't it? Well, I just thought I'd stop by during my break, is all. All the way from the Central District? Ah, uh, quit making such a fuss over a woman. I was free too, so I figured I'd come by and say thanks to the flower. Really now? You're very welcome, and thanks for coming too. Your thing. Oh, we catch you guys at a bad time though? Uh, a perfect time, actually. Oh, so you're making a sign for the store, huh? Well, you've got me in a good mood, so let's say we lend you a hand. Leave it as thanks to that flower you brought me. Are you sure? We'd really appreciate it. Most expensive flower ever. And I certainly wouldn't want to pass up so kind an offer. Are we actually going to get him in on it? The hell's up with this? Look at him living it up. Ugh, and here I thought they'd just end up window shopping. Chumps, a lot of them. You know, yeah, he's not going to be won over so easily. Why are there paw pr Okay, there's paw prints because white cat. Yeah, there, that should do it. Thank goodness the booster gave us permission to set up the sign. This should make drawing in customers in the Central District a lot easier now. Thanks so much for your help, everyone. Oh, it was nothing, really. Repairing boats is half my resume. Yeah, I guess a job well done really isn't so bad once in a while. Oh, what softies you tur two turned out to be. Oh, shut it. Anyway, it's high time I get back to work. You'd think that on his break he would want to, you know, like, eat something or something, not do more work. We'll be taking off now, best of luck with the store. I still have a lot to learn, but it feels like I've managed to take another big step in my life. Thanks, Adam, I couldn't have done it without you. That's a lot of flowers. Oh, well, we're over a hundred.
And go figure. Yep. So once you fill the meter enough. Oh, okay. So that's what the maybe that's what the symbols next to it mean. I don't know. Cause like it's still completely full, but also there's a symbol next to it. I would have thought that the symbol would represent a hundred and then the meter would reset, but unless the symbol has more directly to do with the fact that that showed up. So, I kind of don't know how I feel about all this, because it's kind of like, yeah, they're side quests, they're supposed to be optional, except when they're not, because you literally have to just do busy work in order to progress the game. Like, I don't know, it... It worries me because it seems like an exceedingly dull way to... to, uh... materialize progress in the game. Uh, I did want to check out the armory, though. Where the hell is it? Where even are the shops on the map right now? I'm confused. They're just, like, not... there. Wait, is it because this is... It's because it's the zoomed out version. Armory is right there. Yep, we've got new weapons, uh, for both of us, actually. So, yeah, it's... The the problem I've always had with these games is, like, it, it feels like it's rarely worth upgrading weapons because you're more likely to find a completely new weapon that's better anyway. We've also got better armor. Uh... I'll get one for add all. And then I guess we'll get them new weapons. Hefty longsword forged in anticipation of a fierce battle. Alright, they're both longswords. This is what he's got equipped right now. <laughs> and she gets skill glove. What does she have equipped right now? It was some kind of claw, right? I don't know. The problem is it shows you the strength change, but it doesn't show you at a glance. Like, this has evade rate plus 2%, and you can't see what her current weapon has. That one actually has evade rate plus 3. Probably not that meaningful of a difference. Alright. I don't know if I'll regret buying them weapons. Like, maybe we'll end up finding them anyway, but... Uh, alright. Let's see what we've got here. This is presumably gonna be another full team defense thing. Residual entity lingers in the air here. You shouldn't just leave this be. Yeah, so this one's bigger than the one that was in front of that door. Uh, recommend level 12. I might be just barely there. Oh, you can actually enhance your relics here? That's interesting. Oh, and this one actually says area unlocked, main square. So... Which, so is that saying this is the main square, or is that saying this is the main square, which I would sooner believe? 
No. That is the main square. So the area unlocked is referring to the area that that particular Grimwald uh, encounter unlocks. I don't know why it would say nothing for the ones we already did then, though, because the second one we did technically unlocked that underwater passage or whatever. But anyway. We did set up two decoys. We did upgrade the, uh, the Sphene once. That's Hawk. I hear you've been look up to no good. Were you looking for me? Ken. <laughs> So what if I am? I'm not that great. Yeah. Are we just fighting him now? Let's say we don't. <laughs> それも呪いの一つだと以前にも教えたはずだが、高よ。愛も変わらず手の施しようのない打つけだな。プリリス、このクソマン。極限だ。遊んでいる場合ではないぞ。I was gonna say we got more important things to do. Here we go. It doesn't make any sense to me that they stuck in this, like, 15 frames per second FMV every time we do this. It's like, was that really necessary? Alright, so there's our decoys. Oh, and we do have, uh, our own friends helping out. What? They keep pointing the other way. They keep killing them before I even get to them. Probably a waste. Alright, good. I've got boost ready. How the hell did I hit that bottom? Oh, 
apparently I'm poisoned. But seriously, these fights just feel like an absolute mess, and I can never actually tell what's going on. The targeting and camera in this just feel shitty. <laughs> it feels like I'm never gonna get used to it. Like, they shouldn't have messed with a good thing when they had it. They decided to make the camera crappy in this game for some reason. Okay, our, our civilian teammates also get points. And yeah, we got points for the uh, decoys. There's no reason this shouldn't be an S. Yeah, okay. I'm sure eventually they'll end up scaling this up to where it's actually unreasonable. Like, that's my concern, is like, if I can't make sense of what the hell's going on now when we're actually just killing everything super fast, it's gonna be a problem when it gets to a point where actually there's strong enough and plentiful enough monsters that they're actually getting through. Because then it's gonna be a problem that I can't make a damn bit of sense of what's going on in these battles. You're a talisman, I wonder what that one does. Yay, we did it! Great job, everyone! Did something happen, White Cat? You seem a little different than usual. Oh, I do? Um, things happened here and there. I concur with Raging Bull's observation. Whatever it was, I think it's for the better. Not a little fake before. Oh, heh. <laughs> what does it matter either way? I hate to admit it, Crimson King, but we're gonna have to put our duel on hold. That reminds me, you snuck into the prison and caused a commotion, didn't you? You snuck into the prison? No, I took you for a prude, but you really do know how to have a good time. Yeah. Yeah, that's a whole lot of noise for a little information. We'd all benefit from keeping our heads down. Wouldn't want to give people any more reason to hate the monstrums. I don't feel the least bit bad about giving them a, re a run for their money. Even those honorable knights have got to have a breaking point. Why would you do that? I didn't sign up for this curse, but I'm sure as hell gonna use it how I want. It's like swords exist to kill, power exists to destroy. You can deny it all you want, but you can't change what it is. You can't tell me you've never used your gift for your own benefit. It's almost time. The Grimwald Nox is dissipating. It seems so. Now then, until next we meet. Is he always like that? <laughs> yeah, it's usually just how it is when Hawk's around. I wonder if I wonder if Adel's supposed to turn everybody around. I do wish he could at least try to be a little more civil, but it's kind of a lost cause. Yay, we can go to other places. your first time in the main square, right, Adol? That's good. We can investigate together. I've been coming here since I was just a girl, so I should know my way around by now. That's true, right. Even before she was a monster, I guess. But I, I, I would first took that as, like, she's been here because she's had access to this already as a monster. While we're at it, there is something I'd like to stop... Uh, somewhere I'd like to stop on the way. See, I need to submit an application for my store over at the Trading Bureau. It's that building right over there, across the way.
that be okay with you? We don't have to do it right away or anything. Sure. As long as you show me a good place to eat, it's okay. We don't have money. We just blew it all on equipment. Thanks. I've been all sorts of stressed over it these past few days. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of other places to go around here. I'll give you the grand tour. Pulling up the Nox Cage even further will cause a new miasma, uh, cause new miasma vertices to appear. Areas blocked by barriers will contain more barriers within. Oh, great. <laughs> So we unlock one barrier, and what's our prize? More barriers. Explore, search for quests, and defeat Lemurs to in these new areas to build up your Nox Cage. Yep, whole lot of busy work. I did it again. <laughs> Stuffed mushrooms. Not what I would expect a butcher to have, but alright. And smoked meat heals 1,000 hit points. I don't think I need that yet. Shadowlord fellow's been nothing but busy, busy, busy lately. Worry it'll be a bit much for him, but as long as he doesn't overdo it. Keeping the knights in order is no small job, especially with these monster incidents. And even with all that responsibility, he'll still make time to lend us a willing ear. Not to mention his service during the war. He really is the pride and joy of this city. Oh, we got one of those too. Okay, so that's the amulet. I've been curious whether that is, in fact, yeah, that is a lesser version of the accessory. That resists poison. Wait, so then. Alright, then the upgraded versions also have an additional. Strength and defense buff. Resist confuse seems uh kind of kind of good too. Uh, you know what? I'll give him resist. Well, yeah, I'll give him that. We might want to upgrade that at some point. Alright, well, there's immediately things we can crimson line to. There's also this, which looks absolutely terrifying. Wait, what? Graffiti on the ground. To the lady in black, if it hadn't been for you, I would have dropped to my doom here. Thank you, I owe you my life. wonder who the lady in black is. don't expect this to go well, but I might try to just cheat it and do it this way. Nope. How are you supposed to do this? <laughs> like, this doesn't... doesn't seem like a good idea at all. No, I wasn't trying to read the graffiti, I was trying to jump. Uh, so that accidentally worked. What? Why didn't I double jump? The problem is you can't even, like, get a good perspective on it. Okay, that doesn't look like I'm on it, but sure, thanks. Oh my god. This, this is not good. Alright, we got it, and that's all that matters. It respawned me out here? Alright, what's on the ship? Cool, we got extra stuff that I wasn't even counting on. Uh, well, I didn't do that! Excuse me. <laughs> I just walked right through the ropes here. What? That said something, and then it worked me back. And I accidentally skipped the dialogue. So what did it say? Oh, um, the district up ahead is separate from the main square. Let's try to stay around this area for now, okay? Why? That's dumb. It's like, I got wet repeatedly and got my ass over there, but we're not allowed to be over there for, um, reasons. Baldick may be known for its prison, but its marketplace is just as famous. It's certainly a lively one. Sure is. Stays open till well after dark, so some people call it the night market. 
A lot of the bus busier folks around town uh, tend to eat here after a long day at work. Can't go wrong with cheap and delicious food, after all. I'll be the judge of that. If we can afford it, it's actually cheap. This place has adapted to the lives of the people. I could learn a lot from it, I bet. What's that old building for? Is it part of the main square, too? No, it's not. Clearly, we already found that out. It's part of the Citadel during Baldur's days as a fortress. The Hieroglyph Knights are using it as their chapter house these days. You okay, Otto? I've heard that Master Chatelard's a cut above the rest of his knights. We should probably be careful if we ever find ourselves near the chapter house. That's why they don't want us to go there yet. Alright. Special craftable equipment that boosts critical and evasion rates. Oh, light armor, specifically. What, what about the weapons that do that? Because her weapons boost evade rate. Or, actually, no, that's not a... Is that evade? We gotta fit something else. Grants a bit more defense than normal effects received on equip. Crit rate raises the chance of a critical strike when attacking. Evade rate raises the chance no damage will be dealt when attacked. Certain accessories also raise critical and evasion rates. Effects gained via accessories stack. Okay, so this is also crafted using raw materials. And I can't craft any of it right now. Oh, we get, we can finally get a costume. And yeah, this is what I think Ryoka was saying something yesterday about like it only affects the monstrum forms. All right. Well, since I can't actually uh, make any of it. Hi there. I'm a craftsman weaver from over at Artisan Lane. Everything you see sold here was made either by me or my young apprentice. Put all our pride into every little stitch. Go ahead and have a feel for yourself. Uh, okay. Apparently I can go over there. We got chickens! I can't lift them or attack them, though. Oh, hello. Just where that rapscallion get off to? The last thing this market needs is some irksome thief disturbing the peace. Excuse me, is everything all right? Oh, or pardon me. I didn't mean to concern you with my rambling. I'm the marketplace manager. Please shop around to your heart's content. If I may, you are keeping your purses close, I presume. I, I think so. Did something happen? Well, as a matter of fact, we've had a slew of pickpocketing incidents in town recently. A number of customers have found themselves stripped clean of their wallets. Thief, huh? How horrible. And I have. They said they would increase their rounds for the time being. Wow, they actually said they would do something? That's better than usual. Naturally, though, it's impossible for them to keep a watchful eye on every nook and cranny. Alright, don't ask the knights to protect waffles. Got it. And so I have taken up my own rounds like you see now. Market has seen a real drop in visitors thanks to all of us. I hear the culprits even started going after our vendors' tills. Ugh, we'll be run out of business if this keeps up. Let me guess, Hawk is to blame. I can only get my hands on that thieving crook. Yeah, if only. Is there anything we can do to help him at all? I agree. No way, we can just leave him like this. Let's try searching around the market for any suspicious characters. Okay, I can't actually... More merchants coming in from abroad means more competition to deal with. But I may as well start giving away my wares away... Uh, start giving my wares away if I lower my prices any further. Better start thinking up a clever game plan and fast. White asparagus and mushroom. It's an ingredient, but it can also be used to heal. 
Surprised I haven't come across these before. I don't know what they're good for yet. Oh, hey, Krisha. Yoo-hoo. Hi, Angela. It's been a while. Oh, I know. This is my friend Angela. She's filling in for her mom at the family stall for the time being. Yep, I was practically raised in this market, so I know all the little tips and secrets. If anything you want to know, just call for Angela. That's me. Uh, but she's also a sh... Yeah, she's also a shop. Alright, we found cheese. Seems important. And these also heal hit points. Red meat and white meat. I gotta say, Krisha, this is a real big step you're taking. I always thought you didn't mesh too well with the Pendleton way. I'm happy for you. I mean, this might be just the opportunity you've been needing, you know? Anyway, I'll be cheering you on. Let me know if you need any help, okay? Of course, thanks, Angela. Alright, that was the one I already checked out. I think I've checked out all the ones over here. But wait, there's apparently... Apparently we just walk over here, okay. Oh, is it me or is that guy acting kinda shifty? Yeah. Yep. Yes, I'll take one of these. Just let me grab my purse. Wait. wait. My purse, it's gone! <clears throat> Must have been him. Let's go, Adol. Yeah, that was almost too easy. Nothing like a little piece to get these suckers numb in the head. Hold it right there. What the hell? Monstrums? You just stole that woman's purse, didn't you? You better give it back if you know what's good for you. Ugh. You want to back that bad? Come and get it, then. You're really gonna race a monster? You're gonna lose. You're not getting away from us. Come on, let's nab him. She's gonna head him off of the pass, right? Man, it's exactly like some kind of cop chase sequence. Was that a dog? No, t no time to pet the dog. Shit, I, I got distracted by the dog. I... Yep, I went the wrong way. <laughs> it's like, we gotta chase this guy. Oh shit, a dog, let's pet it. <laughs> yeah, he went this way. I should have guessed that. I want to know what the hell she was doing, though. You're a speedy one. The jig is up. Time to face the music. Damn, would have gotten off scot-free if it wasn't for you meddling kids. They seriously basically pulled the Scooby-Doo line right here. Just my luck you'd play vigilante the one place the Romans ain't patrolling. You can think it over in present. Why pickpocketing anyway? Yare, yare. Money, why else? As I recall, you're a thieving little feline yourself, ain't you, White Cat? Well... Ah, whatever. Maybe getting caught like this was exactly what I hoped. What do you mean? Yeah, like I'd tell you. We'll see soon enough, just like all the ignorant masses around you. After all, this precious piece you've gotten used to can only last for so long. Yeah, what's he going on about with that? This isn't Hawk, is it? Did the pickpocket run this way? Yes, sir. Right when I was leaving, too. They're gonna take credit for everything. What the? What are the monstrums doing here? Did you two catch the pickpocket? Just what are you playing at? We're playing at you can't do your own fucking job, so we're doing it for you because that's... Yeah, that's kind of how the police work. In other words, they don't. All yours, gentlemen. Just make sure you return that stolen purse back to its owner, all right? Wait! Hmm. 
Marketplace ran a buzz as the soldiers apprehended the pickpockets soon after and took all the credit and said they just happened to, you know, magically spot the pickpocket while they were grabbing lunch or something. Once things had settled down, Adol and Kreisha went to go check in on the market manager. News of the pickpocket's capture brought a wave of relief to the market and its vendors. The manager thanked the two again and again for secretly keeping an eye out. Phew, that takes care of that at least. Not that pickpocket though, he was kind of, um, how to put it? Ominous. Soda. Right, I could barely even look him in the eye. I was just overthinking it, huh? I mean, you saw how happy the market manager was. This turned out pretty well, all in all. Definitely got a little off track, though. Let's get back to it, Adol. You feel as if you were being watched. I was just going here to pet the cat. Not that I can. There seems to be no one around. Well, that's curious. Water on the canal flows by silently. You still feel as though you're being watched from somewhere. I was trying to... Why isn't it... Okay, I can't examine the cat. I can only examine the water. And the... Uh feeling that I'm being watched. So we can't go in there yet. Use presence to raise your affinity with party members and collaborators. Wow, it's like we're playing neon white all over again. Purchase presents from shops to give to your party members and collaborators at the Dandelion. Giving a present might trigger a special event. I forget how this worked in East 8. Because there were special events. I don't remember if you had to buy presents for every single character, or if it was like, just types of things that you found. Raise affinity levels through presents and special events. Raising affinity levels will enhance a character's Grimwald support skill. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that is specifically a present. Perfect for long, hot days on the farm. I feel like this would have to be for a very specific person, and I don't know if I know that person yet. But I guess I'll buy it while I'm here. And then we've also got, huh, interesting, Crit and Flash Guard. Successful Flash Guards heal HP. That seems like a uh, an incentive to actually learn how to do it worth a darn, but those are expensive. You've got an eye for the novel and unique, you'll love what your shop has to offer. Each of our products is handpicked and sourced from supply networks from all over. This is Baldur's public bathhouse, courtesy of the Roman Empire. Anyone can use it though, so long as they have the money, that is. Yeah, putting public facilities like this in their territories is a policy of theirs. But the people of Baldur have always had a thing for hot baths. Knights actually rented the whole place for everyone to use for free once. The reputation with the townspeople has been pretty high since then. Oh. Oh, well, if it isn't my two favorite bathgoers. What? Oh. God damn it. Shante, what are you doing here? Well, same as you, silly. You are here for the baths, aren't you? These waters are a whole skincare routine in one. Just look at this lustrous glow. I know exactly what you mean. I was expecting the, you know, the shiny emoji next to him. I can't even count how many hours I spent in there. Well, I'd better be going. Just remember, adult, adult chan. I, I, I keep needing to, like, correct myself because the way it's written is stupid. A sound body is a sound mind. You should really consider taking a dip. It's half an hour, darlings. 
Wait, ta? A single ta? I thought that was like, thank you in Australian. Well, these guys- Listen up, company! What is the number one obstacle preventing you from keeping the peace in Balduk? The Monstrum, sir. Oh. Yep, they've been brainwashed. Good. I don't think the Monstrums are preventing you from doing anything. Uh, you guys are just fucking lazy and incompetent. Correct, but you forget the demon lurking within your mind. A demon called negligence, also incompetence, and laziness. Don't pretend you haven't seen those felons skulking around. Now get yourselves together. We will not allow these feral antics to continue any longer. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Harrison sure sounds fired up. Warden Belga's been pretty popular with them since his transfer from Rome. I guess Hawk won't be able to wreak as much havoc as he used to anymore. It's in Hawk our alley, not the way he acts. What's with him in picking fights? Yeah. I'm not really sure myself. He's been like that since the moment I met him. By the way, the building right behind you is the Trading Bureau. <laughs> Segway. I still need to file my application, so let's stop by when we get the chance. Okay, sure, let's just do that now. After... well, no, we probably don't want to talk to them. I don't know, what... what happens if we talk to them? You all, have you seen anyone suspicious? Let us know if anyone comes to mind. Because we can't do our own fucking jobs for ourselves. We obviously need to rely on civilians to do it, and then we take credit for what they do. That's how cops work. By which I mean they don't. Listen up, there must be some sign of him to be found, so search high and search low. I'm not allowed these fair... oh, that's that again. I guess they're talking about Hawk now? Also, there's totally a thing up there. Uh... Wait, what? Okay, sure, just phase through the building. That works. Alright, before I forget about it, though... Uh, let's talk to these people. Uh, here we are, Glee at last. The perfect vantage point to scope out the enemy now that it's Roman now that it's a Roman territory. And this genius disguise should conceal my noble figure perfectly, isn't that right, Raoul? Indeed, Master Watcher. As though your attire is no less suspicious in nature. It should prove sufficient in masking your true identity. Fine by me. Now then, let our rec reconnaissance of Balduk begin. And we just overheard all of that. They will never guess that we know they're the Phantom Thieves. I mean, what? Why is he in here now? I swear he's actually stalking us. The Trading Bureau actually doubles as the Merchant Guild's headquarters. This shouldn't be long, I've just got to turn in some forms so I can register with them. Hope well, that means you already filled them out, otherwise we'll be here forever. Oh, Adol Chan. Fancy seeing you again. I'm totally not stalking you. So, what brings you here? Wish I had some business here. I should be asking you that, yeah. Well, naturally, I've come to report in as manager of the Dandelion. Dealing with the guild is a must if you want a place to run smoothly. But no need to fret. You'll just leave all that red tape business up to me, hmm? So, if I may, Adol Chan, do mind yourself around those hieroglyph knights. They've been on the warpath ever since you first infiltrated the prison. Their ranks and defenses are on the rise over at their chapter house here in the main square. Whereas as they've joined hands with the garrison to heighten their anti monstrum measures. Do they get along well with Rome? I am curious about that. Wouldn't exactly put it that way, let me give you the full scoop. The knights are a chivalric order tasked with guarding and propagating the hieroglyph faith. As such, they are rather appropriately referred to as the hieroglyph knights. On the surface, they're every bit the image of a pious group of hieroglyph devotees. But rumor has it the church was, shall we say, strongly coerced to approve their founding. Knights of chapter houses like the one here established all across the continent. But you, my dear, are acquainted with the very man who first instated them in Glea, Chatelard. He's a swordsman of the highest caliber, skilled with the blade beyond compare. And might I add, an exceptionally virtuous individual in the eyes of the city. So you'll always be the better man in mind, darling. Rome makes a common practice of stationing soldiers in her territories to keep the peace. 
But Balduk, where duty is split between the garrison and the knights, is the exception. And the one who arranged things to be so? No, none other than Master Charlotte himself. He is as calculating as strategists come, whether on the field or pol of politics or battle. You'll want to be wary of him above all, should he end up standing in your way. I'm all done, Adol. Sorry to keep you waiting. Bonjour, creature, my dear. We just keep bumping into each other, don't we? Everything at the shop's going well, I hope? Oh, hey there, Shante. Yeah, everything's been great. Well, I'd best be going. Do try to keep our little chat in mind, won't you, Adol? I'll see you two back at the bar. Ta for now. Well, Adol, ready to get back to our tour of the main square? Hey, yeah, this here's the Trading Bureau, aka the Merchant Guild Headquarters. From guild procedures to financial advice, we've got you covered. Stop by whenever you find yourself under any fiscal troubles, alright? Alright, what do you do? They also sell equipment. And also resurrect potion. Do I get to keep the bottle? Yeah, I do. It's expensive as hell, but it gives me a freaking bottle. Seems like maybe I want to get that. I don't know. <laughs> so we had already found a Pickard earlier, and now we found a Mishi? I mean, does it... It doesn't... Oh, they're attachments, so they're a separate slot, I guess. Uh, huh. So we've got... We've started finding items that reduce SP cost. Black Belt that braces the body, allowing you to endure fatal blows with one hit point. They have some useful stuff. I'll give them that. I don't know, I'm kind of tempted, but also that's almost all of the money I have. But I feel like I'm going to forget this is here if I don't buy it now. Eh. Welcome to the Trading Bureau. Is this your first time visiting us? If you're here to join the Merchant Guild, you can apply at the next counter over. If you're here on business, feel free to speak with our guild leader up on the second floor. Okay, but I can't actually talk to that person, so... There's apparently multiple staircases. There was one over there also. That's right, I wanted to start my own shop. Is this the same goofball we've been finding over and over again? Huh? Capital? Location fees? I don't know what you're talking about, but my homemade Jesus are the best of the best. I usually just sell what I catch straight to the trading bureau, but when I told Jeanette about it, she asked me to show her here. Remind me, when did I sign up to become her chaperone again? Um, at least eight hours ago. I am the head of the Merchant Guild. You may call me Baldwin. In addition to my own company, I also oversee all trading operations in town. I'd be happy to offer you business advice if you so desire. A pleasure meeting you. I was talking to the back of his head, though. Um... Alright, so I guess that's all that's here for now. I feel like this building may become important eventually. Kinda surprised, so there was a landmark up here, right? Kinda wanna find the landmark. The story destination is there, the landmark is also there. Did I already activate? I already activated that. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. That also didn't work. That did. I also could have just crimson lined up here. Whoops. Okay. Uh, so where's the landmark? It's further south, I guess? Whoa! Not what I wanted to do. really that far south, it's... Let's go fight these things. I 
I almost fell into... Oh. I almost fell into the story point, I guess. This is the amphitheater. I, I find it funny that there was absolutely nobody here, and then suddenly everybody's here. The city holds all sorts of attractions here during the Victory Day Festival. Oh, look, Adam, look, they've got a guy juggling up there right now. I am very suspicious of the gravity of those balls. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. I just like watching street performers, is all. Have you ever seen one before, Al? You're bound to when traveling, yeah. On a deserted island, in fact. Uh -huh. Deserted island? I'm not really sure where to start with that one. Okay, so yeah, the story destinations are are just continuing the tour, I guess. Can I talk to anybody over here? Oh. Okay. Of course it is. Well, we're not allowed to fight him, right? Oh, this should be fun. I mean, he was bored, probably. <laughs> the funny thing is, he is playing right into their narrative of Monstrums being the enemy. And I don't know whether it's just that he figures, like, well, we might as well make something of it, or what. Taka, You guys don't think much, do you? You don't need to be made fools by a monster. You make fools of yourselves. Are we gonna stop him? Yep. You were waiting for me? Were you going to kill him? Both of these are good questions. そのつもりだったぜ。お前が間に合って命拾いしたな。相変わらずめちゃくちゃです。赤の王さんよ。そのままだなって話を聞け。監獄に繋がる地下道を見つけてやった。Another one? Yeah, why are you interested in it? Okay. You mean that part that, uh, Prisha was specifically not letting us go into? The old bronze statue in the garden east of the Knight's Post. She actually kind of sounds like Kreisha here, even though she's in white cat form. Usually her voice changes more.
Really? She's that afraid of him? Well, I guess we're doing this now. It's a great opportunity. I mean, that's true, but we also don't have any other choice. Okay, uh, so we're supposed to not go that way. Where exactly? Yeah, so we're in a totally different place now, I guess. And we missed that landmark for the time being. Uh... Are we actually fighting them here? We're actually fighting them. Okay, well, you guys are dead. These guys are actually not total pushovers. Hey, free level up. Okay. I mean, could I have just avoided them by going down there instead? That's kind of what I'm wondering. I just do I just top out here? Like can I not climb on that? Seems like they intention oh jeez, what have I done? Uh This could be bad. Okay, I can get out that way. That's really awkward. Oh, yeah, we're actually really close to it. I didn't realize that was actually it right there. I think the statue's the one? Wait, is this... Something wrong? Nothing. Uh, sorry, let's check it out. Something's clearly wrong. here. Ox has thrown us into so many sticky situations that I just doubted him out of instinct. I mean, I don't suppose there's any- there's, like, nothing else on the map right now. Oh, actually, there was a fast travel. Oops. And also a, tr a, a treasure on the other side. Also, a shiny thing right here. I don't know if I can get back over there. Yeah, I guess we can. We got stairs here. Okay, yeah, there was a thing, like, literally right here. But I just completely ignored. So I went the other way first. So, where's the treasure? Is it actually below us? Yes, it is. There's also graffiti somewhere. <laughs> Thanks for moving me back just far enough so that I can do that immediately. Uh... Wow, where's the graffiti? Uh... I guess I'll take... This is exactly... That is the same boat as before, isn't it? That's probably where I was before, that we were like, that Krisha was like, let's not go over there. Oh, surprise, we're over here now. Um, yeah, so where was the graffiti? There it 
it is. My friend was imprisoned on false charges. Just who do those knights think they are? I suppose we can't go in here, right? Yeah. Maybe much later, who knows? But... Actually, I can just go down here, right? I probably didn't even have to fight those knights, because they were up there. If I had just gone down here to begin with, we would have gotten to where we were going. I moat ruins. It's no more creepy than every other underground passage we've been in. Okay. You got down here awful fast. <laughs> What happened to the knight? That was a crazy plan. Yeah, it was. This music definitely reminds me of other recent East games. I think it's partially reminding me of, like, the Thunder Plains or whatever in Salsetta. Might be something else it's reminding me of, too. It was only fun because it was dangerous. <laughs> that was a noise. So is he in our party now? He sure is, thanks, I hate it. Hunter's Descent. Oh! Okay, we can basically fly. Or we can fall with style. We can glide when jumping or falling off high areas. This would have been great for that spire earlier. Use it to reach places jumping won't normally get you. Be careful. Depleting the gift gauge will cut your flight short. See, that seems silly. <laughs> it's like, you have wings. You should be able to just use it as long as you're airborne. Alright, well, I didn't think we'd be getting Hawk this early, honestly. And yeah, look at that, a big frickin' gap that we wouldn't be able to cross without it. It also lets you go pretty fast. And now we live here. Oh, we sure flew, flew a long ways, huh? You say that like you've never seen a gift before in your life. Cute power you got there. Now we'll just go, this is pretty useful. Ha, huh, thanks, buddy. So, uh, this really will take us over to the prison, right? Of course it will. Why the hell else would we be here? Maybe we should prepare? Who knows what we'll run into. Ugh, maybe I should be calling you Scaredy Cat instead. All we gotta do is follow us down as far as it'll take us. Now enough screwing around, let's get going already. I, I really... Oh, you can now return to town via the map menu. Okay, so we can go back if we want. And now they're telling us about status ailments. I've already been poisoned at least once. Some enemy attacks can inflict status ailments. Poison inflicts damage when moving. Confuse reverses movement. Petrify lowers movement speed by half. Not what I would expect Petrify to do, but okay. Uh, feeble increases SP costs, reduces status ailment resistance, and increases boost and gift gauge reduction speed. So, it just makes all your gauges deplete faster. Curse impairs vision, reduces movement speed, and increases damage taken. That sounds bad. 
Test effect lasts until the gauge below its icon empties. It gauges color depicts the severity of the ailment. Okay. So there's severities now. Oh, wow. Huh. That seems new. Intensify with repeated affliction. Okay, so you can't just be like, I'm just gonna tank poison and not care. It's like there's more consequences if you get hit by it again. Oh, geez. Friendly fire on confused? That sucks. Uh, petrify can dis disable attack or jump, and there is total petrification. Um... Feeble and Curse, it sounds like there's just, like, intensity of the effects. Be sure to treat ailments before they worsen, or wait them out, you know. I mean, that would also probably work. Uh, I should check... yeah. He doesn't have anything new, right? Yeah, but he has three things already. I still feel like it's gonna be a problem the moment that I have to put skills on A, because it's so easy to want to jump while you're holding the right bumper, especially given that the right bumper is also your dash button. Like, I need to figure out an alternate control scheme. Because having right bumper be both dash but also skill, uh, skill usage is problematic. It's weird that she still only has two skills. And, wow, alright, we're apparently under-leveled according to the game, because he's higher level than both of us. We don't have any others of these, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, and then equipment, what does he have? Oh, he has the really good mail, okay. I wonder if we'll be losing him at any point. Also, I should probably at least give her better armor at some point. But she's got the, uh, the shield deering on to compensate for it anyway. Alright. Uh, I should probably actually think about cutting stream here. This would probably make as much sense as anything in terms of where to cut it off, and we can come back to this. Hoping to come back to this later tonight. Um, maybe start up slightly earlier than last night, so, I don't know, around 9 at the latest. Um, but, yeah, continuing to making progress, we've got a third team member, as of basically right now, so we've got a full party at this point. I'm still wondering, like, in ways this game feels less ambitious than usual, because there's the whole, like, everything is within the city, there's the whole, like, I've said it before that, like, Nox just feels like busy work. Also, why is it showing us tips when we're just standing still? That's new. So it'll show you loading tips even when you just stand still, too. That's different. Um, but yeah, like, there's there's the busy work aspect of, like, you, you they actually force you to either complete quests or just fight things in the, uh, in the rifts in town. Which, like, I don't know. That feels... I mean, on the one hand, it makes sense to encourage you to complete side quests, but... The, the busy work angle just doesn't feel right to me. It's like, in order to unlock parts of the city, you have to just, like, do side content. Um, it, I don't know, it kind of feels like they were short on ideas or something. But, I mean, that's not to say that there isn't still plenty of, you know, plot progression going on here. And I think that aspect of it is interesting. Just think there's, I don't know, something weird about the ways they went about doing it. And I do still think that, like, the, the... The tower defense aspects, essentially, are easily the worst parts, because, like, it's it's just cacophony the entire time. And eventually that's going to be a problem when they actually become harder to complete. Like, right now, they haven't been a problem at all. We've been getting away without a scratch, but eventually they're going to get tougher, and then the uh, chaos is going to become problematic. So I'm a little worried about that. Um, but we will, uh, we'll continue. It's still an ace game, it's still a fun time. I just worry that they are trending in not great directions with some of the changes they made with this. 
Um, the gifts, however, are interesting. I'm, I'm definitely uh, interested in continuing to see how that lets us explore the town. At least eventually, when we eliminate enough of the barriers. So, uh, we will continue exploring this underpass and go into the prison again. I have no idea why we're going into the prison again, honestly. Um, but that's what we'll be doing later tonight. Okay, hello again, everybody. Welcome back for more East 9. Uh, earlier today, we, uh, we started at the tail end of Chapter 2, as it turns out. Um, so I was hoping we would, we would find out what the deal was with why, meanwhile, Adol is back in prison. Uh, unfortunately, that was just a teaser, so we're gonna have to figure that part out later. But, um, in other news, Adol is back in prison. Um, by which I mean we have opted to once again venture into the prison by yet another underground passageway. I'm sensing a pattern here, and this is kind of gonna- I'm worried this is gonna get old. Um, but clearly there is, you know, a mystery to this whole prison that used to be a fortress or whatever. Um, and clearly there is plot to unravel in there. And for some reason now Hawk is interested in getting in there as well, and we have teamed up with him to... I would say fight crimes, but probably more likely commit them, because Hawk is kind of a troublemaking turd. Um, we gotta see, I mean, like, last chapter focused on White Cat, and we gotta see now whether we're gonna cause a turnaround in Hawk's personality, I guess. But Hawk seems like absolutely the troublemaker who also thinks that he is living in a Kingdom Hearts game because his getup is absolutely outrageous. But, um... Yeah, that's where we're starting from. We just got Hawk to join the party. We have his ability now, which is the ability to glide, basically. So, um, it's interesting to see how they're going to work this in. Because, uh, it's, it's been one thing to gain vertical mobility via the Crimson Line, which is basically like a grapple sort of thing, and the wall running, the Heavens... What are they called? Forget, I forget what it's exactly called, but, uh... You basically w run up walls. This one is gliding, so now are we gonna have, like... I'm wondering, especially when it comes to traversing just the city itself... Like, there have been naturally plenty of places we could... That they could stick grapple points and that we could climb up walls to get to places. But when it comes to gliding, like, I don't know. That feels like something you'd have to artificially add things for. Although I guess maybe... Maybe it'll give us a way to cross some of the, you know, waterways in the city, so it'll, it'll remain to be seen, but it seems like the more blatant progression blockers in the city come in the form of the barriers that we have to do enough side quests slash kill enough enemies, um, and the balancing of that still doesn't make any sense to me, because it's basically forcing you to do side quests in order to just progress the main story, which I guess is, in one way it's nice to balance that, but... That feels like something you should encourage the balance of. It's not something you should force the balance of, and this feels very much like forcing it. Because either you can do one subquest or side quest, or you can go f and do like ten fights against um, against monsters in the city. Seems like a pretty obvious trade-off. Which one of those is likely to be more interesting? But uh, yeah, so I'm. F there are some things that this game does that I'm not a huge fan of, but it's still East, it's still got an interesting plot, it's still, you know, a uh, satisfying action RPG, so... We're gonna keep going, but I, I definitely have to say that, like, I don't necessarily love it coming from previous installments like Salsetta and Lacrimosa of Dana, which have managed to be interesting of their own merit without forcing the player down, like, without making it feel like they're forcing a certain playstyle, basically. Um, I guess playstyle isn't the, quite the right word, but I don't know. There are things that just feel artificial about this in terms of the way they implemented gameplay and progression, but still interested in the plot, so let's see what happens next. All right, we are in the dry moat ruins. Oh. Right, so what what damage type is he? Um so he's Pierce, right? 
I still think it's weird that, like, I feel like the Slash and Pierce icons are, like, reversed of each other. Like, the Slash icon looks like a Pierce to me, but, okay. Now, I forget, what were his skills? He has, oh, he has three. Um, I still have to think about how I would want to revise the controls to make dashing, like, running and jumping less counterproductive once we end up putting abilities in this slot. I feel like in the past I've I've put dash on like the button that is currently switch characters, but I, I don't know. Like, I I feel like that wouldn't work. Because like the amount with the amount of time you're usually dashing, it makes sense for that to be on a shoulder button. That definitely makes sense. I didn't mean to do that, but also, those are not destructible. Wait, it's still showing a chest over there? Hang on. Didn't I just get one, or is it up there? It's up there. Uh... There we go. Hey, last coat. Yeah, I'm right back at it. And now they're having us mix uh, all three damage types in the party. See, case in point right there, I wanted to switch characters, but I needed to remember to let go of the run button first. I just feel like my controller needs more buttons. Alright, there's a staircase over here. Got treasure over here and also this guy. Oh, we also got shortcuts to get back there. Okay. I feel like I completely whiffed that. Alright, that worked. Oh boy, that's a big dude. He's still not dead. Now, now he is. Okay. Yeesh. Oh. Hmm. What's a shield good for? Is that an accessory, or like, what is that technically? That is technically an accessory. Uh, damage from foes charges your SP. That's interesting. Alright, so right now he's got this stuff on. I mean, the resist poison is pretty good. I guess I can give him the wood shield. I am kind of using him often in this area, since he uh, has a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of enemies that are weak to his attack type. Trying to target that, but I'm not sure. Okay, it is. I gotta remember, anybody can use Crimson Line. Like, they do share these tactics. They share the gifts now, so. But I... No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> where's the Where's the damn bat? Why is it? Okay, so it let me crimson line to it before, but it's not letting me do it now. Maybe just because he's that far away. Uh, can I run up there? Uh, 
Uh, not really. Uh, that almost worked. Alright, I feel like wall running is sometimes really awkward because, like, sometimes you kind of have to, like, go sideways and it's not conducive to that. Uh, yeah, there's definitely something over there. I mean, there's a, there's an enemy in there. Okay, so, well, what's in here? Probably nothing. Okay, so then where are we going if we can't open that? Unless there's a lever somewhere. <laughs> or... Oh, there is. There's a lever right over here. I wonder if this will segue into what I was just thinking. Is this timed? Yes, it is timed. Okay, that is exactly what I was thinking. I was like, they're gonna make us glide across, aren't they? Uh, red cape. Is that also a, uh... Damage up as hit points go down. Alright, that's interesting. I'll give him that, I guess, for now. We don't seem to have poison enemies for the moment. I didn't seem to be paying much attention. Alright, he's level 14 now. Are they all level 14 now? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hawk's about to be level 15, though. Actually, yeah, let's save, why not? Uh, that was weird, because I tried to tell it to do the, uh, boost, but it didn't. Alright, well, he's dead anyway, whatever. Uh, so we can crimson line up there. What's over here? They're dead. I like how it looks like I drew like a, a hand pointing on the map. That's kind of funny. Alright, so that's where we're supposed to be going, so let's not do that yet. commenting on. Oh, there's a chest... here? Up there, I guess? Yep. Rebel, Grim Rebel Grimoire. Is this one of the things that we turn into one of the, uh... one of the NPCs, or is this actually equipment? Because, I forget, have we gotten two Grimoires now, actually? Wasn't there- there's a dude who collects books, is that actually what that's for? It's- it's really annoying how many... ...sections there are under other, like, why didn't they make each of these its own tab? At least make the key items its own tab, although it doesn't seem like the grimoire is down here. In which case, does it even show up anywhere? I don't know that it does. Oh wait, they're down here. Contains the technique of an ancient hero. Read it to teach White Cat a skill. Read it to teach Hawk a skill. Oh, well shit, I didn't even realize that. White Cat will learn the skill Shooting Star. 
I mean, is there a reason not to do this? Because I know there was a dude in town who wanted books, but I'm not sure this counts. Maybe I'll hang on to it just in case, so I can double check that. Well, actually, um, yeah, hang on to it until the next save, uh, whatchamacallit. I want to say until the next, um, relief point, but I'm not sure if I can fast travel straight into relief points inside dungeons from outside. It did make sure to tell me earlier that I could go back to the map, though. Alright, so... Now she's level 15, at all is not yet. Uh, yeah, why does this place exist? Why bet this is gonna lead back to that door I couldn't open before? I was right next to it. I pressed the button to open it and it jumped instead. This is the same button. Yeah, this is where we were before. Okay. So these things are... These underwater passages are typically like mini dungeon kind of things. Alright, so where are we going now? This one? Okay, yeah, there is a fast travel point here. So, if, uh, if there is this point here, then we should be safe to go back out of here. Okay, yeah, you can actually fast travel to the specific points from there. Alright, do I remember where, where Bookstore Guy is? Right there, okay. Hey, what's the big idea? Don't tell me you're going back into town. <laughs> so we have to leave him here? Just wait here for a bit. You got some nerve doling out royal decrees to me, your majesty. Heh, <laughs> whatever. No wait, it'll just pump me up anyway. But take too long and I'm starting off on my own, got it? Got it, we'll make it quick. It will be quick. Uh, he took my stuff with him, though. Like, we had equipped him with stuff. Um, and we're doing this for you, Hawk, actually. So, they don't even let you sell them. Wasn't... Didn't this guy have something about wanting us to give him books? If they don't have any function to him, I'm gonna double check the, uh... I'm gonna double check here. Where would they even be? Actually, it feels like it would be in this section, but it's not. Heaven's Run was the name of the wall running. Okay, well, color me confused then. I thought this guy wanted books. If he's not interested in these, then I guess we'll just learn the skills, because why not? Yeah, the longer the wait, the sweeter the kill. Let's move. 
Alright, let's make sure that all of our stuff is still intact. Okay. And I guess we'll learn you two some skills. what kind of skill that is. And this is Rebellion Crow, charge through the air like a cyclone, ravaging any enemies that go along the way. Okay. Alright, so we just gave her... No, that's the old skill. That's the new one. Yeah, let's, let's rebind those. And that's what we just got for him. That's pretty neat. Uh, so let's do that. Interesting, that doesn't actually... Stepping into that does not give you your uh, SP gauge back right away. Uh, this is where we're going, right? Yeah. Brains for eyes? I'm confused. Oh no, Vagolian! But it's Rene Vagolian. See, that's when I wanted to jump, but I didn't jump. So is he gonna do bad things? He's gonna do bad things. Yep, because it's Vagolian. Yep. And everybody leveled up. That went pretty fast, honestly. Uh, and now we're all level 16, but yeah, he's the closest to leveling up. Okay, so that's all there is to that room, I guess. Alright, I don't know which one of them was more effective. It might have been her, actually. Now we got laser enemies. Yeah, I'm feeling like this might have been Madonna. But I got that feeling once before, so now I'm kind of confused. But I definitely feel like that looks familiar. And actually, this music also sounds maybe familiar from that perspective. I mean, I was saying before that it also reminds me of one of the music tracks in, I think, Salsetta. There's a landmark in here? Interesting. Didn't expect there to be landmarks inside dungeon kind of places. I'll do Can Canal Falls. Alright, well, we don't want to go down there, probably. Meanwhile, there was more stuff all the way out there, but I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, so the interesting thing is, so we came up, we came from up there. We can go this way, or we can go that way. 
Actually, we might not be able to go this one. No, we can go this one. Yeah, this also this room also looks familiar. Yeah, so this is where we have to cross. This definitely feels familiar. This was in the demo. Oh, that's one way to do it, I guess. I didn't actually mean to do that, but I guess this is where we are now. Uh, I guess we'll go this way. Fortunately, I've got a couple of fast travel points. Um... Yeah, I think it's weak against that. Oh. Um... Like, did it just sail off the cliff? I'm kind of confused. Okay, so we can go further into there. chest right over here. They honestly stand out way more on the map than they do in the actual, uh, level. Alright, I kind of feel like I should go back first, because we skipped a couple of things. So, uh, hmm. Okay, so you can go to the canal falls from here, that gets listed separately. And then... I wanna go over here and check in here first. Because I completely skipped this last time. Dude. Like he's attacking everywhere except the thing that I want to hit. Okay, so there was just a treasure chest in there. Let me double check that I didn't miss anything. Now the map's not telling me anything else. Wow, barely saved that. Alright, so now... hang on. Wasn't there another fork in the road somewhere? Is that in here? This is where I ended up before, so I guess... That was dumb. How about we just get away from the jerk bird? There's gotta be a catch to this, right? 
Spirit Elixir. I guess you can't target them at all when they're like when they're not materialized. Kind of annoying though. What are they doing? Like, they really like to just run up walls. You still can't kill them in one shot, it seems like. It seems like, I don't know whether it's specifically when they get to low health that they do that, or what. Alright, is there anything else that I didn't do in here that I could? Seems like that was everything. Now we get to fight the jerk bird, or just run past it. There may be more than one jerk bird. There is more than one jerk bird. That didn't work. Uh, guess I'll be back down here again. Wait, no. Back down here? This... Have I been here? Why did that shove me there instead of where I actually was? That was weird. Yeah, that just put me back in a circle. Okay. So that this was the other area that I could see from further away before. This is why I don't like having run and skill usage on the same button. Because running and jumping definitely jumps further, but you can't run and jump when you have a skill bound to the same button. This seems like a very blatantly obvious usability issue that they chose not to address. Oh, that's how he just died completely, okay. Why do they only annoyingly, like, dematerialize when I'm fighting them? Seems like there's this is the only way to go, really. Uh, wait, what? Oh, right. Okay, I didn't notice there was a chest in there though. But we, that's we still need to find the switch to open that door. There's a lever over. Wait, what? I hope she meant in here. Yeah, he's got t he's gotten touched up a bit. I'm still wondering where she's saying there was a switch. I'm worried I missed it. Wait, that's not where I came from, right? No, that's where I came from. However, there's stuff over there, uh, and I'm not sure that I can get back over there very well. I don't know. Let's try something. Oh, well, we can't really run up that wall. That doesn't seem to work. Don't know if this is gonna work or not. 
Oh, okay, it works. There's also something else under here? But that might be the lever she was talking about, in which case she has very good vision. Yep, there you go. Wait, that's one of them. There's... Oh no, okay. I thought they were gonna do a multi-lever thing where you needed to unbar the door multiple times. Does this lead us right back there? It sure does. Okay. We still have more to investigate over there, but let's save for now and get our health back. And also see where the heck the chest is. There it is. Nora's Blue. I don't even know what type of item that is. Uh, revive and heals 500 hit points. That's what it is. Okay. But yeah, let's go back out here. See what else is down here. At least I'm assuming this is a place I haven't been yet. Nope, I'm wrong. I've been here. At least the map seems to suggest I've been here. Also, the fact that there was an open chest. Okay, so, in that case, let's go back out here. And go back to the depths, and we can go through the door now. I did just save, but I got that item afterwards, so... Uh, is this Mortal Kombat? You have many eyes. Apparently it's Soul Calibur. Ow. Okay, you have eyes, you have lasers, you have... what? what is all this shit? This is some Gobelin type bullshit. You're only like, I don't know, the fourth boss or something? You're not allowed to do this. This seems banned. how fast the boost runs out. I guess I should probably heal, or not use him. How was I? Oh, uh. Yeah, that seems rude. Oh, okay, we got a new skill, huh? Ow! Wow, okay, that's some bullshit. I see, you're supposed to glide then. Okay. 
I can't even fucking see, dude. That's some bullshit. This should kill him. Okay. I very nearly got killed by the camera there, because that's absolutely the worst part of this game. But yeah, that was a actually challenging boss fight. Wasn't expecting that to show up, and this ain't even the Grimwald. This is the kind of stuff you've been looking into. You, you, oh, that's a question. This is this the kind of stuff you've been looking into, your royal majesty? More or less. That and how to break the curse, yeah. Huh, that's so. And you almost had me for a moment there. So, um, where exactly in the prison do you think this connects to? Guess we'll just have to find out when we get there, huh? Just make sure you don't wet yourself on the way, pussycat. I won't. I just have a bad feeling about this is all. Alright, uh, it did refill our health. We probably all leveled up. And now Hawk has the lowest level because he died. <laughs> Alright. Serves him right. That shows you just how much frickin' experience that gave us, too. Oh, right, yeah, now I have an attack. Now I have a skill on that button. I think it's... Alright, well, first of all, it's time to save. Second of all, I think it's time to figure out what the fuck I want to do with my button config, because this doesn't work. I'm assuming Dash is what's actually responsible for this. What if... I have a stupid idea. Why... Why do they give you a menu rather than just let you push the button? You know, that thing that computer games have been doing since the 90s to reconfigure? Uh, but okay. I have a stupid idea, which is that. Oh. Uh, alright, so that does not have the desired effect at all. Uh, so left bumper is guard. I can't really double bind it to that. Guess I don't think that would really work. What about the triggers? That's one thing I've been wondering, is what are the triggers bound to right now? The right trigger is bound to one of the gifts. Oh, and the left trigger is bound to question marks. Okay. I just feel like there's no good button binding for this, because you want to be able to jump while you're running. And you can't. Because it uses a skill now. It's like, how did I not have this problem with every other game, every other recent game in this series? What did I usually do about that? And I feel like chain... I feel like I switched change to another button. I don't remember what. Um... And then I feel like I put dash on the B button. I presume if I double bind that, it's gonna actually change every time I do that. It does also dash, though, so, like, this could work. It feels a little weird. And I still have a Vade on here, which... might be fine? I mean, that hasn't been a nuisance for me so far. It is kind of silly having them switch character every time you dash. I feel like that would get annoying very quickly. But I don't know what the hell else to do with this. I feel like usually you do have evade and dash on the same button, though. So... You don't really want switch character on the same button as skill usage, either. That would be extremely not convenient. Um... Right, and that switches offense and defense. I feel like this becomes a problem because there's so many buttons that gifts are bound to, because I feel like that wasn't a thing in the previous game, and maybe that's what begets this problem. It just seems extremely... unfortunate. But I don't know what else I would do about it. I mean, really, the, um, 
I feel like the optimal solution would be don't require holding a button just to run. That seems like the obvious thing. It's like, why do you need me to hold a button to go fast? I have a fucking analog stick. Make it do something useful. Um... Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna put this back to the way it is for now, but like, seriously... It's like... When your jump button doubles as a skill button when a certain button is pressed, and that certain button both activates skills and also runs... It's like, how can your default controller configuration have this serious of an issue? It boggles the mind that they were too fucking stupid to figure this out, that this is a problem that they should address. But there's too many bindings to properly address it. Uh, why did it put me out there again? No, not- what? Dude, I'm in a fucking dungeon! Zoom in there! Yeah, I am going the wrong way, aren't I? Like, I've never seen an East game besides, like, the first one, well, the first three, I guess, be this mind-bogglingly, frustratingly dumb in some of his design decisions. It's the Banner of the Hieroglyph Knights, isn't it? Which makes this place, um... The Hieroglyph Knights HQ. Ha! <laughs> Not a bad little surprise. HQ? Time for more sneaking. Did you know about this? They're headquartered in the prison? Sure are. Ask for why an Order of Knights set up base in a prison? Beats me. Can't blame you for finding an odd. Just about anyone would, I figure. Either way, we're here, whether you like it or not. Let's say we take a stroll around. I don't think we really have time for any casual strolls. Still, we should try to keep our heads down so we don't get caught. Why? We can just beat them up anyway. <laughs> We've already proven we can do that, although the Hieroglyph Knights are a little more... Uh, a little more tough than the others. Who goes there? Monstrums? How in blazes did you get in here? I mean, we can you see that hallway behind you? We came through there. Like I gotta answer to grunts like you. You're kidding, it's the Feral Hawk! And the Crimson King and White Cat to boot! A hawk, you say? Perfect! This is our chance to avenge our fe fellow brethren. May the Celestial Master grant us victory. He won't, because he doesn't exist. Yeah, Did that say, I'm so sorry, just take a nap, okay? <laughs> I'm starting to feel like we're the bad guys here somehow. I mean, we are making ourselves look that way, I was thinking that. Why all of a sudden? They've been treating us that way since the start. That's mostly because of you, you know? Yeah, she did say just take a nap, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we were supposed to sneak past those. Like, they were right there looking at us, so... Unfortunately, we can't do anything about it. Oh, we can go through here, though. Girl in a maid dress. Okay. Oh, what am I to do without it? I'm so scared. If only the professor were here to save me. I knew I heard someone welling their head off. Guess it must have been this chick. Inmate? She doesn't seem like a nasty criminal to me, but... Yep! Who goes there? You don't sound like any gods I remember. What are you in here for? What are you crying about? I couldn't even tell you if I wanted to. I was only minding my own business when they suddenly took me in for being sketchy. Even worse, they confiscated something from me more precious than my own life. That's probably why they took her in. The steal stuff. That's what cops do. They just stuffed it into that burlap sack and carried it away like it was nothing. Without it, I just... just oh, what am I to do? 
I don't suppose she's one of those wrongful convictions Parks mentioned. You better not be thinking what I think you're thinking. We should help her out. I thought exactly. We can't just leave her like this. All we have to do is find this precious thing of hers. Shouldn't be too far away. Let's try searching around for it. <sighs> do whatever you want. Screw around too long and I'll make sure you get a nice sharp reminder in the back. Don't even joke about that, Honk. Okay, but also... Alright, there's clearly something in there that they're telling us we should get to. Uh, can we just beat them up and, and get stuff? Uh, I didn't see what that said. If there are good prey to catch around here, is that really what we're here for? Alright, well, I guess I guess we're going to beat those guys up, even though we were saying we should keep a low profile. Because that's literally the only thing there is to do here, is beat these guys up. They weren't expecting us to show up in their own headquarters, huh? How did you find out about that secret passage anyway, Hawk? Meh, I have my ways. Ain't here either, huh? Clearly he's looking for something. <laughs> You don't say. It's funny how often the AI just decides to run up walls for no reason. It's the sack. This must be what that maid girl was looking for. Sweet, if we destroy it now, we can forget about her and get to what we came for. Or we could just give it to her. Don't even think about it, even if it's just a joke. Why does Hawk always have to be like this? Is that literally the only thing in here? Like, another side quest that actually is required? It's weird to disguise required progression as side quests. Ah, uh, excuse me, but this wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Yes, this is it! This is the bag! Oh, thank goodness. I was starting to think I'd never get it back. I don't know who you are or where you came from, but I can't thank you enough. Yeek! Yeah, what? Don't like what you see? We're not bad people, honest, though I guess we're dressed the part. Dude, our I mean, other than Hawk here, who's dressed like a fucking Kingdom Hearts character, are we're, we're the most impeccably dressed people ever. No, it's not you, it's... Watch out behind you! Oh. Uh, well, that's fascinating. What the hell? These guys are... Le yep, lemurs. Why are they in this part of the fortress, though? I'm not going to call it a prison. It's a fortress. Let's be, f let's be frank. Out of nowhere. Am cowards sneaking up on us like that? My goodness, they're gone. Are any of you hurt? You three are incredible. I've never seen anything so amazing. Hey, what's with that mask? Where did it come from? Is that what was in the bag? Yes, I'm glad it didn't break. But where are my manners? You've helped me so much that I haven't introduced myself. Okay.
What's the map? Is this supposed to be a throwback to, like, the first... Well... Yeah, I guess the first East game. But also Origin. Like, is that why she could see them? Arigato. About that, it sounded like you were actually able to see the Limiers. So that's what those slick, wicked spirits are called. Yes, as a matter of fact, I can see them. Those horrible things have plagued my every waking moment all my life. I'm not sure why, but putting on this mask makes it so I can't see them anymore. Wait. Putting on that mask makes it so she can't see them? I was thinking the opposite? That's the reason it's so precious to me. I can't thank you enough for returning it. Well, I doubt she's lying. Hell, she noticed them before they even got the drop on me. I'm guessing that mask is what got you locked up in here, though, huh? Yes, whenever I wear it, people call me creepy or say that I'm hiding something. The Roman soldiers ended up questioning me about it, and, well, I panicked. But I would have been even more of a wreck had I taken the mask off. The professor's always telling me not to be so afraid, but... It's interesting that she can see them when, like, normally they can't do anything. To normal humans, I would think. Should probably help her out of here, don't you think? I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if we just left her like this, and besides, better to protect her from the lamers than us monstrums, right? Reintroduce yourself before asking Silhouette if she'd like to return with you to the monstrum's hideout at the dandelion. The monstrums have a hideout? I had no idea. In that case, perhaps my luck is turning for the better for once. Please allow me to offer you my services at the bar, it's the least I can do. She is a maid, that's true. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity, I have a lot to learn, but I'll give it my own. My all. Yes, Jodakita! Okay, she has passive abilities. I mean, that makes sense she, since she can actually see them. It doesn't make any damn sense that everybody else is supposed to be helping us, but... Although I guess the lantern is supposed to let them all pass into it. It still seems very weird. Alright, so what else are we doing here, if anything? I was hoping maybe we would encounter, you know, other at all. I think that's bound to happen at some point. That's gonna be weird. Because then, then the uh, light blue narration text is gonna have to have a two-sided conversation with itself. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to do here. Why do you keep doing that? Oh, that's right. I don't think you can zoom in here. Uh, I mean, like, you can't switch modes. They never show you the prison map. Because the prison has to be mysterious and hard to navigate. So this is where we're supposed to go, right? I guess I can't tell from that map there. What happens if we do talk to her? I'll be waiting here until everyone returns. After all, I simply have to repay you for saving me and returning my mask. Oh, I'll have to tell Professor Valen that I'm okay, too. Yeah, I don't think we've met that guy yet, so that'll be a new character as well. chest we can't open. Oh, there's a ladder here that I totally didn't see. Yep. My trouble with ladders continues. I'm, I'm, ladders are always damn near invisible to me. Oh, well. Please tell me that's not the main dude, Chatelain. Monstrums. 
Yeah, I think it's him. <sighs> Fuck, why, why did you have to get us in the deepest shit possible? Chatelard, right. Sorry, I got his name wrong. That's a good question. Nobody asks you for a rating. Go, go home. Time to get our asses handed to us. Okay, time to get his ass handed to him. <laughs> that is true. Why are we trying to back him up? Like, you, he dug his own grave. It's his funeral, not ours. だったら引っ込んでろよ。こんな面白い喧嘩を譲る気がねえ。高さ。あんたも構わねえだろ。仮に俺を倒しちまえば、どうせ赤の王たちの番になる。いいだろ。決まりだ。聖国騎士団が団
Yeah, so each of them has to have, uh, has to get theirs, and then they, then their identity is revealed. I, I seriously feel like we're playing an episode of Scooby-Doo, uh, or, or multiple episodes of Scooby-Doo. Yeah, go figure, he's a hieroglyph knight. <laughs> One thing they still haven't explained to us, though, is when each of them became a Monstrum. Like, at all, or at least we think it's at all, just randomly freaking got shot when he was escaping from the prison, but... This dude's a Hieroglyph Knight, and then of course we've got Kreisha, who's, you know, uh, part of a family of rich snobs. Credo Eiblinger. That was the name on his identification card. I confirmed that he is no doubt a member of the Hieroglyph Knights. You think Shadowlord knew the whole time? That there was a monster under his nose all along? Hard to say. I can only guess what kind of secrets the Master and Commander is keeping. Well, I guess the other question is... Like, Hawk was spending so much time as Hawk, how long has he been, you know, MIA from the Knights anyway? Anyway, judging by that ruckus he started in the main square, this one's a loose cannon. Hmm, from how you describe him, he shares some similarities to the legendary Berserkers. Berserkers? In ancient times, they were divine warriors who raised the battlefield in a frenzied rage. It's definitely scarier this time than I've seen him before, but... Was in the entire spirit, it was like he was fighting an inner battle. I mean, both of those are true, but yeah, I'll go with that one. I had the same thought, and there was something else I noticed. It was only for a brief moment, but he looked a bit sad somehow. More to him than meets the eye. Ask him about it. I don't think he would tell us. Hmm, you might be right about that. I don't think a knight like him would be very happy about us talking about him like this. Why don't you try asking around the Hieroglyph Church instead? Wouldn't they all, like, you know, just take us in? I mean, turn us in? You got a point there, Parks. The knights in the church go way back. Oh, maybe they're not talking about the same place I thought he was talking about. There could be someone there who might be able to tell us something about him. Okay, there's a cathedral in the Central District. That's the Hieroglyph Church. Uh, that's the one I've been in already, right? Why don't we go there now, Al? Yep, because there's the nun that wants food. Anywhere else we can go? This was the locked door, right? Yep. one also no that one's not even interactable excuse me yes how may how may I be of service when Krisha ask about Kratos ah yes Kratos Aldlinger I was an orphan by that name though I wasn't at the orphanage myself so I can't say whether he became a knight orphanage how long ago is there, or where is the orphanage? Well, we're gonna find that out anyway. Oh, not five years, perhaps? The orphanage was operated by the church, but they've since torn it down. Oh. I see. Are there any people who might have been there before that happened? Hmm. Father Ralph was the one who oversaw the orphanage at the time. Since the orphanage was closed, he's resided here at the cathedral. Would you like to meet him? Oh, yes, please. I'll arrange for someone to escort you. This way, please. Oh, it's Mel. I will bring Father Ralph. Please wait here. Oh, wait. Thank you very much. So, Kratos was an orphan. More uncommon than I thought.
You really think so? I wonder how he was like growing up. Look at that painting, at all. It's beautiful. Sister looks kind. Doesn't look like the same sister we met earlier. Pardon my intrusion. The way that door closes is really creepy. I am Ralph, the father of the Hieroglyph Church. A pleasure to meet you. You must be Kratos. Nice to meet you. Friends in a manner of speaking or acquaintances. Well, we'll go with this. Ugh. Oh, I am both relieved and surprised that Kratos has friends now. Speaking of, how has he been recently? We've not spoken since he joined the Knights. Yeah, we dodged the topic, right? I remember like it was yesterday. Do you see the painting there? Yeah, we were just talking about it. It's very beautiful. You can tell how much the artist cared about that sister. The artist... was none other than Kratos. What? I was convinced it had to have been a professional artist. The arts, acad uh, academics, athletics... He was considered a prodigy in many fields when he was a young boy. All it took was a few moments before he could master his skill. Gifted child indeed. That explains- I knew he wasn't a complete idiot! It's <laughs> from his natural talent, huh? However, despite being so gifted, he lacked one thing the other children all possessed. What was that? The joy of accomplishment, a sense of growth, and sense of self betterment. <sighs> Such talent can often drive someone into misery and desolate solitude. Rita was deeply admired as a hero by the other children at the orphanage, but when he felt how different he was, the distance between them only grew. I often found him alone, dispassionately reading books he had no interest in. There was but one sister he confided in enough to confess his thoughts to. She must be the one on the painting. Yes, her name was Sister Lisa. Scriptures say that working hard and improving is a reward in and of itself. It's also written that personal fulfillment is the meaning of life. If this is true, then does that mean that my life has no meaning? And the wisdom of an adult couldn't answer his profound question. Instead of simply telling him what he wanted to hear, Sister Lisa listened. That in itself helped bring stability to his life. If you don't mind me asking, where is Sister Lisa now? She passed away. Oh no! There was a son of a noble family who fostered a deep contempt for Kredo. The boy provoked Kredo into a quarrel by making a mockery of the orphanage. Suffice it to say, the boy did not emerge from the squabble uninjured. Days later, the orphanage was raided by unidentifiable bandits. Rita rushed to the scene, blade in hand, and struck one of them down. It was the first time he killed someone, but another bandit had witnessed this. In retaliation, he in turn killed the one shielding the children, Sister Lisa. Oh, well, no wonder he's pissed! It was discovered that the noble family were the ones who hired the bandits. Oh, yeah, great. I believe Master Chatelard facilitated the trial in this incident. Did? Yes, he seized the noble family's land and assets, then banished them. It was that very incident that sparred the Hieroglyph Knights into greater control. Rado then continued on his path of destruction, challenging strangers to fights. So that's what happened. Why did he join the Hieroglyph Knights, then? He simply had nowhere else to go. The Knights offered him a position, I believe. I'm afraid I don't know the details. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> I guess he's awake. And he's still in his human form? <laughs> Yeah, I knew he was gonna do that. Kredo. Nanda. 
あの絵を見てしみったれた思い出話でも始めると思ったか Yeah, he's a tougher nut to crack than that. He must be s h i n i k a i t a Rakugakida. So, Rayori, Kangokuni Norikomunara, Sugi Kara or any more Koe Kaketa Morose. Kangokuni? Kondo Koso, Shatoraru or e g a y a r u Why does he want to beat Shadowlard so bad, though? The relationship between those two is still kind of unclear. Other than, yeah, like he's a knight, so he's technically Shadowlard's subordinate. But. <laughs> I respectfully decline. <laughs> Why doesn't he, like, find other ways to duel people? Like, why has it got to be fighting all the time now? If he's good at everything, like art and stuff, too. Like, challenge him to a karaoke battle or something. I don't freaking know. So it's all tiny kita dagida. So r e j a n a I feel like that's not why he came here, but okay. Kimi t o c h i wa yutai. Yeah, we are, I think. Uh, I, I'm torn on this one. Do we are what I know? Shirano Ijo, Iro Iro to Ario, this name. Musekini no Ikotani not the Shimo Kamo Shirima Singa. Anato Tachino Yona Nakama Gayu to Shite. Hot to Shimasta. Lisa the Inakunate Karoa. Zutto Hitori that the Hazreskara. Sunima Singa. Yeah, at some point, Kredo's gotta come crashing down. I don't know. So they said that Chatelard oversaw the trial of that noble family. I wonder if,、uh, if Chatelard basically prevented Kratos r from getting vengeance himself, and that's why. So, it could be a while. Several hours prior, are, are we going to be other at all again? Alarms bells. Well, you missed a、uh, copy editing that one. What is that? I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what ちょうど騎士団本部のあるあたりだおそらく地下から侵入されたんだろう It's still funny to me that like these guys all operate this prison here but none of them know their way around it ババケモノがうろつく地下を You would think that if you You would think that if you were gonna repurpose a fortress into a prison Step one would be Draw a fucking map and figure out where shit is But they didn't ついこの前も同僚のハインツが That name is familiar. Ah, Chicani Mayoi Konde Sonoma Yuku Hume to you, Hanashitaka. I don't remember if we heard that name Hines in the very, very beginning of the game or what? Daga Tadoritsita Sakiga Kishidan no Hombutoa Yatra Mo Akunga Skitana Asokonia Chodo Shatoral Danchoga Irasher Mai Chuanai to Munga. It is, it is still super interesting that Chatelard let them go. Although he did say that technically they're the、uh, garrison's jurisdiction. Something seems to be happening in the prison. 
could be the perfect opportunity. Can't be stuck in a cell while adventure awaits. Yeah, meanwhile, you know, other Adol is already having adventures. So I guess we're just gonna, like, be peeking into Adol's, uh, whereabouts at the end of each chapter now. Let's hold on a second. First of all, let's save. Oh yeah, what does the journal say now? Yeah. <laughs> so, so this adult has his own journal, and it's very boring. <laughs> It's interesting that this says behind closed doors, whereas the other one said solitary cell, which, I mean, we're still there. There is absolutely nothing else to do here, it seems like. I can't even use the map button now. Now to scope the building out and assess the situation before the next patrol. Wait. What? Why is that the button for full screen minimap? I didn't think that was the button I had it down to. Actions at all cannot perform as a prisoner. Skills, gifts, and devil jumps. Oh, I didn't realize that was its own thing. Okay. So, you can do this with, uh, by clicking the left stick. But then, if you press down, you actually get that. So, we can't just pick the other lock? And, yeah, this add-all is still level 10. So, we can go in there. Almost one of the guardsmen's swords. It seems to have rusted considerably. We decide to take it just to be safe. I mean... I guess, given that uh, they're gonna take us in regardless. Yeah, this might be even worse than the sword that we found before. See, if it weren't for the meanwhile and a few minutes ago or whatever, I would think we're doing some time travel bullshit. But, presumably, we're not. Uh, I guess we are going this way. So, I can't use skills, though, right? Yeah, which means... Which fortunately means my, uh, my jumps will be uninterrupted. And we've got monsters just up in the part of the... Fortress with the guards, really? We got graffiti here, too. Only corpses manage to get out from here. Abandon all hopes and dreams, ye who know what's good for you. Well, that's lovely. And a single sheet of paper mixed in with everything else. The inmate in question is under heavy suspicion of agitation, mental instability, and crimes of the highest order. I hereby request that both the words and actions of this inmate remain unheeded. Hmm. Which inmate are they talking about? Red searching the shelves for anything of use. Hey, we got raisins. Alright. I sure hope that's not talking about other at all, because it sure made us seem like we were telling the truth when we were talking to the, uh, the Inquisitor or whatever. It's coming right this way, you don't have enough time to hide. Well, well, what do we have here? A crafty little rat who's fled his cage. But unfortunately, your little prison escapade ends here. You've just won yourself a one-way ticket to solitary. Bet you can't wait, can ya? I mean, I just got- I just had a one-way ticket out of solitary, so, like, don't threaten me with a good time, I guess. Yada yada. I was just getting some fresh air. Oh, just taking a walk, are you? Eh, as if that'll get you out of this. But you know, you're pretty calm for an inmate who just got busted. How amusing. Fine. 
I'll let you off easy this time. Go on, stroll wherever you please. Wait, what? Why? I'm not sure I can trust you. I mean, that's also true. I don't even know which way to take this one. Ha! <sighs> huh, says the guy is trying to break out of prison. Ah, oh, thanks. I needed a good laugh. Any normal guy would have clicked his heels and made a break for it by now. Of course, I'd have gladly just captured him there and increased the sentence. But you, you're not just any normal inmate. I like you, redhead, so tell you what. I really will let you off. For now. We'll chat again next time we meet. I trust you'll be just as amusing then. You can sense the guard moving farther and farther away. It seems he really does intend to let you go. <sighs> I'm wondering about that guard right now. His words still leave you unsettled, but you need to hurry on ahead. I don't know, can I go back and follow? I don't know, he's gone. So hang on a sec, that guard just came up the stairs towards us and he just didn't get accosted by these giant rats at all? I think that's the most unbelievable part, not the part where he let us go. Duke Cityscape sprawls below. They must be holding you in some sort of prison tower. The glow of lights brightens the night sky. Is there a festival of some kind going on? What? A preposterous surprise. Okay, that's the Inquisitor. Interrogator. Oh, she has another title. And also, she has a name now. It's weird that they reveal her name to us when he didn't actually say it, at least not in the text. That sounds awfully convenient for you. I'm right here, lady. Hi. And Adol is hearing this now. So this is what I was wondering is like how how are the two adults going to collide and well this one just heard about adults escape when uh, he's he's doing that right now so so either he's got a thing wow word travels real fast this guy already knows I'm escaping when I literally just started it like two minutes ago or he's thinking something else is up but why is she so interested in that all from the paranormal perspective? Although I, I suppose a lot of the crap he was involved with was kind of out there. Yeah, she sure did seem to hate what she was doing. Really time for the rounds, you should return to your cell. Find your way back by retracing your steps. I mean, we weren't actually gonna escape then? Okay. And they don't say anything about what what Adol's reaction here is to hearing that he already escaped. 
Just no reaction whatsoever, supposedly? You kind of can't prepare to give yourself Twilight Shards, because you don't know when you're gonna no longer have the opportunity. Artisan Lane? My memory serves it's in the northwestern part of town. Yes, there is a plethora of wonderful shops, each with its own rich history and culture. From daily necessities to specialty crafts and antiques, all kinds of shopping can be done there. Did something happen there? Well, I've only just heard by word of mouth, but there's been a chain of serial burglaries. It's not all, though. The culprits are said to be none other than the Monstrums. Of course, because they get blamed for everything. What? I don't want to point any fingers, but... It wasn't me! I don't think any of us would do anything to draw that much attention. Y yeah, Kratos over here, like, uh, citation needed. Um, I mean, it really wasn't me. I'm only here for the free drink as I'm only here for the free drink as I was promised. Only a coward would sneak around like that. For me, I'd do it in broad daylight. Several of the artists in Lane shops have already fallen victim to these thefts. Most recently was the... the what? I can't pronounce that. The Ringdale's Antique Shop. It was broken into just last night. Mr. and Mrs. Ringdale? You know them, Cretia? Yes, they're kind of... they're the kind elderly couple who run the lovely antique shop. The Pendleton Company has been doing business with them for many years now. Stealing from an old mom and pop shop? Now that's the lowest of the low. You've all become icons of sorts recently. There's bound to be those who seek your public image for their own gain. I don't care what people think of us, this kind of stuff happens all the time. Anyway, it's not my problem. Talk to me if you need some actual fighting done. Hey. At least he heard us out. He'll come around. I just want to tuck him into bed and shoehole his little worries away. You are... you have issues, man. Isn't that right, my adorable creature? Oh, huh? I think you're asking the wrong person. Regardless, I advise that we settle the incident before it worsens. When you have a moment, could you go to Artisan Lane to investigate at all? Um, at all. Yes, I would, thank you very much. I know the couple at the antique shop, I thought I might see if they're okay. And, well, I can help you dispel the barrier, too. Uh, because, of course, there's one of those. Huh, <laughs> well, that settles that. This game feels way too form formulaic. Like, I don't know that I've had any other East game feel this formulaic, and, like, the... the breaking into chapters adds to that, because it's like, oh, okay, so each chapter now seems to end with a part with other at all. It seems to involve breaking one barrier, uh, probably gonna involve at least one tower defense section. So, I don't know. It feels like they're... Feels like they're doing way too much to make this game feel way more cookie-cutter than it should be as an East game. Wouldn't it be nice if all the monsters were this willing to work together? <sighs> yeah. I have no doubt you two will succeed. Agreed. Well, there's still much to do. Oh, well, that tells us which character is going to be responsible for this, probably. That's the other thing, is I keep spoiling exactly which character <laughs> is going to be the culprit for each chapter. Uh, ta-da! New quest available. Hey, yeah, Adol, you free right now? Someone who's joined the crew and they want to have a word with you. Why don't you say hi before heading out? I don't. What can I do for you? Ah, oh, did you receive my message? No. I hadn't in turn intended for you to learn of this, but recently I've heard word of an innocent detainee held captive in the prison. I was going to request this of Dogi and the others, but it's quite the momentous task. I realized it would take the monstrums in your powers for this to be... I realized it would... 
That should be required. I realize it would take the Monstrums and your powers for this to be successful. Would you consider my proposal? Only if you're able to, of course. I mean, sure. Eh. Thank you, Idol, truly. If the information I have is accurate, then this individual is not your average citizen. To start, she's merely a young girl. Why was she arrested? For no reason, you know. Reasons have been several. Still, there was no justification for placing a girl as young as her in prison. My information places her cell on the top floor of the central wing. You're acting like we know our way around the prison, which we don't, because they haven't given us a map. It's not going to be easy getting there. Where did you get that information? Yeah, <laughs> you monsters have your tricks, and I have mine too. We're all outlaws, remember? Central Wing is one of the most secure sectors due to the Warden's office being there. It would be best to prepare by selecting an optimal infiltration plan before entering. What? We're Rainbow Six now? Uh, I mean, I, I do need both of these. Honestly, I don't give a shit about the guards, they're paperweights. That would be useful, but the comprehensive layout of the prison is a well-kept secret. Yeah, so well-kept that nobody who works there knows, either. Even the guards are kept in ignorance of the sectors outside their own. You'll need the patrol routes of the guards to get in without being spotted. I just remembered, there's a black market dealer who operates in the central district. Yeah, Maxim, we know about him. I hear he possesses very rare items that you can't acquire through normal means. There's a sliver of a chance that he might have information about the prison's layout. Even if he doesn't, he might have clues as to where you can find such information. Find a way in one way or another. This is a difficult yet crucial task at all. Okay. I hope there's no quest that I missed out on. But the last time I had checked the board last chapter, it was empty. Hi. Uh, oh, I actually have enough materials for that now, huh? Not that I really care to have it, though. Um, oh, uh, yeah, we did get a leather necklace, didn't we? And we no longer have Hawk in the party. I suppose this is another instance where I go to the weapon shop first and see whether there isn't actually a better weapon, rather than upgrading these. Uh, I mean, I guess I might as well see if I'm, like, tripping over... Some of these get real complex. I kind of don't want to, like, jump the gun on converting things earlier than I should. Um, I forget. Can I actually... Oh, that's right. You can exchange shards here. Which also gives you this stuff. Um, rare items. I can actually afford these now. Uh, it doesn't tell me how many of them I have? Oh wait, yes it does, it's the bottom left. It seems weird that that's the bottom left, which is completely opposite where it shows, like, stats and stuff, if, if it's an equipable. Tempest Elixir contains the experience of its maker. Wait, what? Oh, it just gains you a level straight up. And that also only costs 100. I wonder if these go up in cost every time you use you take one. I mean, if there's no cap on Twilight Shards, or at least if I'm not hitting it right now, I feel like I might as well wait until I know what I need out of this. Because I do have to remember that I can get materials from this, too. Actually, let me look at what elixirs I have right now. I do have one of those right now. Uh, Warlord is SP, Spirit is also SP. I've got a Life Elixir, I've got a couple of Strength Elixirs. Uh, you know what, I should probably try to catch that all up. 
Although, actually, I wonder if I could have converted this into something else, but it probably would have been like a direct conversion anyway. Suppose I should go and see what kind of weapons and armor there are first. I already gave her one hit point elixir, so not in a rush to use that on her or anything. Now, they said there's a new person in here somewhere. I imagine it's the maid. Question is, where? I suppose she should be out here somewhere. I suppose these people should be saying new stuff now, huh? Rumor has it that the prison warden has was snuffed out for good by the hawk. Uh... What? I suppose the whole thing would have been better off left to the knights after all, huh? Oh, it's Zorati, okay. Well, hello there. It's lovely to see you again. You're an employee here, aren't you? You should have told me sooner. You know, this bar is just the most charming ambience. It had me smitten at first sight. Apparently I should have given her an accent, too. Places like this make me feel right at home, so plan on seeing a lot more of me around. Ah, there you are. Ah, at all. Perfect timing. There's someone I want you to meet. Oh, the professor. This is my employer, the man I owe my life to, Professor Valen. Indeed, I'm an anthropologist. A pleasure, I should think. So the wet here tells me she wishes to work here to aid the monsters. But I do not see said monsters anywhere. I'd hope to shadow them this week and observe them for my research. Oh, uh, we're gonna have a side quest to deliver him stuff? And perhaps I could extract a flesh sample. Hmm, that may be a tad excessive. Um, Professor? If only I could just get my hands on the secrets of the monstrums. Then I could devise a way to become a monstrum myself. Oh, I mean, we can help you with that, you just need to get shot. With that power, I could observe the realm of the evil spirits with my own eyes. Ha, what a thrilling notion! You owe your life to this guy? Oh boy, that's, that's a load. Professor? Sorry, Adol, I didn't mean to cause more trouble for you all. I initially thought Professor Valen could be helpful to you. Seeing how he is now, for your sake, we'd better not tell him about the Monstrums. <sighs> and there's one more thing I wanted to tell you. I spoke to Shantae about this too. I'm going to be in Dandelion's official errand runner. This includes my supplies to the bar. Uh, any supplies the bar needs too. If you ever think of anything you need, I'll take care of it for you. You're going out in public with that mask? I mean, she already does, I reckon. Are you sure about this? You're a fugitive. That's a good point. It's true, but I think I'll be okay. Besides, I don't think anybody remembers who I was or that I was a prisoner anyway. Even Park said it was unlikely that I'd be imprisoned again. I don't know, maybe I'm just naive? But I understand the cause for concern. It's risky to be lingering in public for too long. I'll only go to the shops where I need to go and I'll come straight back. I'll do my very best to keep out of sight. Just let me know what you need and I'll get it. Oh. It would also be helpful if you tell me about any new shops you find. Alright, how does this work? You can shop at any store in town you've been to during your journey. Relaying shops will expand the range of items she can purchase for you. Does it cost more to get them through her, though? You know, like, is this like, uh... This like startups that make money off of people being lazy? Shops will change icons above upon discovery, right? Errands cannot be run for rare or crafted items. So she can't run errands for weapon enhancements or equipment crafting, limited or unique items, or medicine brewing. Hmm. Okay. If she basically collects all the other shops' inventory in one, though, that does seem like it could be useful. It might also be overwhelming, but less overwhelming than having to remember which shop has which stuff. I wonder if you also have to wait for it, if you ask her to, uh... I guess that might have been the, uh... Oh, now it's a full moon. I wonder what that's gonna mean next time. Might mean tougher enemies. Equipment orange, consumables orange. Yeah, so they do have new stuff. And this is the same exact price as it was. So, there is a new weapon. 
for both of them. And also, that's presumably for Hawk, which maybe I'll worry about that when he actually shows up and decides to, you know, be useful again. I still haven't upgraded... Wait, what? So he is equipped with the scale vest. She's still got leather armor. We should definitely get at least one new armor. We can buy all this stuff. Oh, we can also buy that. Yeah, we can get both the Pickard and the Mishi here. I mean, they're cheap enough that we could do that, I guess. I might actually have money to spare now. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, super good. And yeah, she just gets it instantly, apparently. So yeah, we basically don't have to run around to different shops now, we can just do this. Alright, we're not gonna bother with that, we're gonna get one of these. And then she can also get... Can she get meals? Yes, she can. Did already spend a bunch of money, though, so... No ailments seems like it could be useful at some point, though. Like, maybe I should actually get one of those. It doesn't heal as much. A culinary innovation. I would try it. It's funny that that one's actually the most expensive. Well, I guess it heals the most, but it's also active for the least amount of time, it looks like. Also, I gotta remember that I can also, like, make food myself, so I probably should have checked on that first, but I probably don't have the ingredients. Okay, so that's an unexpected bonus feature. Oh, you've got a recipe book. Just give me the word and I'll have a crack at it. Oh, that's right. We only, uh... We can only cook things that we have recipes for. I forgot. And she's who the straw hat is for, apparently? Alright. What's the occasion? But it would look good on you. It's for all your hard work. I mean, yeah. But I'm still new to be a w being a waitress. As a matter of fact, I try to get some work in the fields as if I go home every day. I wore a straw hat just like this one, but I tore it the other day. You have no idea how hot it was working in the sun without a hat. You're a lifesaver. Can't wait to show my siblings. <laughs> Thank you, Adol. I'll take good care of it. How about I serve you a drink on the house? It's the least I could do. Chante has been teaching me to bartend, so I'm actually starting to pick it up. Your support skill battle cry has reached level two. So there you go. We get we get uh, improved support skills for. Increasing affinity. You know, I just realized... This song uh, superficially reminds me of a song from... I think Final Fantasy VII? Alright, what do we got here? Uh, bathhouse debauchery? Oh no. There's a bulletin board near the public baths to find more info. Uh, is this the one I already took? Wait, wait she's posting... <laughs> she's posting to the board? Okay. An army of Maratudos have appeared in the depths of Cloaca Maxima. We would be remiss to leave them as they are. Report to me once you've sub found success in your efforts. Where? I shall be waiting at the ruined belfry in the central district. Do I know what exactly that is? It says this was posted in private away from the eyes of the average patron. This is the one we picked up already. Isn't it? 
Okay, so this is just... Alright. It's kind of confusing that this is like a mixture of ones we've already accepted. Oh, but you know what? He did say, did you see my message? So we could have seen it here first. Alright, but the ones that said short are the ones I should prioritize. I'm actually surprised that um, Parks' mission is short. Alright, so I talked to them already. I talked to you. Am I seeing things? There was something odd about that maid who wanted waited on me just now. I should wear that mask anyhow. It's suspicious with a capital S if you ask me. Mind your own business, dude. Is this different music? Yeah, this is different music. So, that's interesting. Alright. Those are the ones we did last time, right? Alright, do I remember? Well, it says in the main square. Now I forget, what do we have to do for him? Oh, right, right. Uh, okay. Is he in here somewhere? There's a bunch of question marks here. Oh yeah, that's, that's him. I it was here. Wow, rude. Okay, that's nice. Uh... Oh, he's one more set of houses in. Oh, whoops. Alright, free defense elixir. Wait, oh, I didn't equip her with the better armor. I need to give her the hand-me-down. So that their their defense is mostly on par. I could just buy another one. That would probably be the smart thing to do. What? You need something from me? Got a request for you. Huh? To you now. Ask Maxim as discreetly as you can for intel about the prison's infrastructure. Infrastructure? And for Baltic prison, no less. I, I guess that's asking for too much after all, isn't it? Actually, it's not. Pop up 500 gold, and I'll get you what you need. Really? That's surprisingly cheap, actually. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I've had my eye on that prison for a while now. There's one more condition before we close this deal. There's these flyers someone's been posting all over town lately. I want you to get me their newest one. It hasn't made its way around yet. What kind of flyers are they? One's full of gossip and hearsay. Truths mixed with falsehoods. They're tabloids, simply put. Either way, they're still in demand. Think of it as a necessary expense for gathering intel. Bulletin boards around town are probably your best bet for getting your hands on them. Alright. Know where to find me once you do. Him and up front or no deal. Well, turns out we have to go to another boat and board anyway, so maybe we can find it there. Um Yeah, where was the bathhouse? Because I don't freaking remember. Also, there's a shop I totally didn't discover over here. That's pretty funny. 
bathhouse had to be somewhere over here, didn't it? Oh, okay, yeah. Forget, what is the meaning of that icon? Report contact. Alright. Hang on, is there a thing I didn't pick up over here? Yep. Whoops. Alright, so where was I actually going? I really don't like these controls. Like, I can't even double jump while I'm dashing. Wait, is, is it... Is it across the river? No, I'm going the wrong way. Also, there's graffiti here. My best bro used to be the coolest guy in town, but after a run-in with the hawk, he's nothing but a shell of a man now. I'll never forgive you for this, you bird-brained bastard. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. See, I can, I can run and jump just fine as long as I'm not transformed. Could it be? Have you come forth to defend our fair city's greatest bastion of rest and repose? S something like that. You must be Gundo, right? You mentioned something about a, um, perverse individual at the baths? That's exactly right. I've been coming to these baths ever since the very day they were built, you see. Where else can one sweat off the day's work, chatting up strangers in the glorious buff? I think the, per I think the perverse individual might be you. Such a sanctuary as this must be protected from those who would debase it at any cost. And I count on you youngsters to lend me your aid. Eh. Right, it must be pretty major if it has... Oh, that's her. It must be pretty major if it has you this upset. Who exactly is this perverse individual anyway? I know other than a peeping Tom, of course. Some lecherous degenerate has been leering at the poor defenseless maidens in our baths. Consequently, the number of women willing to visit has started to plummet. It's terrible. People should feel comfortable when I see there. Exactly what I'm saying. A situ situation like this is grave beyond grave. Hey, Zach, you next to the raid? But the staff is having trouble addressing the matter. I'd planned to pitch in myself, but I figured the most most these old bones could do is find someone younger instead. Is this staff sanctioned? That's a good question. Of course it is. I want the settled as much as me, and might I add, we are very well acquainted. <laughs> now then, I'd like for you to conduct a little investigation of sorts. Right-hand building houses the baths, separated between male and female. Every window was made from frosted glass to prevent such calamities as this. But that doesn't mean there can't be a hole for opening somewhere. Your task is to find that very opening. It's cleaning hours now, so you needn't fear inadvertently sneaking any vulgar glances. Okay, got it. So, uh, how deep did you get into Kanashiro's palace in, uh, Persona 5? All we have to do is look for any spots that Peeping Tom might use. Ah, I knew youngins would get be up to the task. I'll be counting on you. Hmm. Alright, well, gives us an excuse to explore a place. I, were we even allowed to get in here? Why are there- oh god. That's how many windows there are. Jesus Christ. There's also windows over here. Like, can I even examine these? I guess I can. Wait, this is the men's bath. I don't think it has anything to do with the peeping town. Uh, right. Which side was which, though? Let's get the fast travel point. All will seeds obtained, ready to send the calling card. Oh, right, that's what those are for. Because I saw you get one of the will seeds before. Somehow I haven't been there to see the will seeds. Like, I've probably had it in the background sometimes, but I forgot those were actually necessary for doing that. Oh, I've seen these exact shop items before, so sorry, dude. Been there, done that. So, like, yeah, how am I supposed to examine these other... Oh, wait. Did 
I wanted to examine the window. There we go. Why is there a report thing there? Huh? The lattice on this window seems kind of loose. Let's take a closer look. Windows lattice appears to be loose. Removing it reveals a small peephole. Oh no, this is awful. You can see everything through here. Goodness, they're only cleaning right now, but anyway, we found it. You can't see the spot from the courtyard at all. It's the perfect place to sneak a peek. How would someone get up here? It's the whole man made, though. It doesn't look very used. How do you, how can you tell if it's very used? Not the crap. Well, now that you mention it, it does look more like it formed out of wear and tear rather than on purpose. But if that's the case, then what? Oh, time to swap shifts already? Yeah, I'll take it from here. By the way, you hear the new orders from the warden yet? About the new patrol route, right? Could you run it by me again? I don't think you have to get the will seats, but they tend to be pretty helpful. Yeah, I forget what the details of that is. It scared me. This spot is right behind a garrison post. <laughs> we thought that they were... We thought that the bathhouse was changing the guard. And reopening. It's a blind spot, sure, but it's still close enough to hear the soldiers. There's no way someone would try to peek in from here, of all places. Anyway, let's get out of here before someone catches us. Uh, I assume that means this was a misdirect, and we're not done. Uh, I'm on the wrong building. I hate the controls. You cannot run and jump at the same time because of the controls. Also, there's an important... I can get cool stuff here. Wait, what? Why did she say that? You might have said it because of this. I think that is what she's uh, talking about. I think that's the same kind of amulet I got from the last one, actually. And the last one wasn't a, uh, a red... Oh, is this who we're supposed to report to when we, uh, figure out what's going on here? Uh... I am even further off from the correct building now. Uh... Yep, no need to worry about getting peeped out from here. Uh, wait, so where are the other two? Are they on the other side or something? No. Are there lower windows or like where else where else should I be looking? It's acting as if there's more spots for me to check, but there's not. I'm confused. Are there more in here? No. where I just was? Yep. Alright. Well, color me confused. I don't know where these other windows are that it's telling me exist on the map. But it does feel like this is elevated and there should be 
possibly a lower point to uh, spot them from, but I'm not sure. Also, is that a shiny thing? It's just... Oh, no, this is... Um, something we'll have to do a fight in. Yeah, so once we get some side quests done, we'll have to come back there. Where exactly is this on the map? Okay. These two guys again. How could the Romans build something so tasteful? <laughs> Didn't I check this one already? Yeah, so I'm very confused. Oh, I can check this? Are you serious? It's the chimney. You try peering down it, but it doesn't seem like it would be very useful for peeping. I mean, they put it on the frickin' map anyway. Kinda seems like they're gonna be telling me that none of these are the culprit. And that this dude is making crap up, and he's actually the peeping Tom. We just about every spot we needed to check. We did actually end up finding somewhat of a peephole. Let's report it back to Gundo. Alright. Oh, we can actually use the- what does that do? You could say they became quite a hot spot. Eh. No visit here is complete without a nice long soak. Take the chance while you can. I don't know what that would do. Like, I can go to a fast travel point if I want my health back, so... What's the point of spending a hundred gold? Oh, there you are. I take it you've completed your investigation? Yes, well, about that. Oh, I see, so that's where it was. Marvelous sleuthing there, young'uns. You've done these bats a great service. Something still seems off. Yup. Yeah. Eh, and what might that be? Well, it doesn't really make sense for a peeping time to be using that spot. There were no signs that the hole we found had ever been used. Plus, it's so close to the garrison's post, you can even hear them talk to each other. Oh, you can now, can you? Well, let's not get too caught up in the details. Job well done is a job well done. Here, a token of my appreciation. <sighs> I suspect this guy. Oh, um, thanks? You can just leave the rest to me. I'll bear the burden of informing the staff and making sure they establish a proper... Ah, there he is. Oh, this is the, uh... Someone mentioned this kid at some point. And you're? Just passing through, that's all. But I do have some business with this fellow over here. You are him, aren't you? The one who got thrown out for trying to peep into the woman's baths over and over? Uh-huh. Wait. What? What's going on here exactly? Oh, come now. Clearly the boy here has things all mixed up. I'm simply trying to defend this refuge and recreation for the sake of the people. More like you were trying to find the perfect people. I've looked into it, and these people are far from the first you've asked to investigate. By the way, I'd advise against playing dumb. See, I've already reported you. Oh, nice. There he is! So you're the dirty old peeper. 
Well now, isn't this a bit of a pickle? I'll just be seeing you youngsters some other time then. Wow, he runs fast for an old pervert. Damn, he has really young legs on him. So, um, let me get this straight. We've been acting as accomplices to a peeping Tom this whole time? You came just in time, thanks for saving us. Well, as luck would have it, it's not as though I came to help you in particular. Thanks, we loved you too, kid. I visit the baths myself now and again. There aren't many places I can relax, so it's in my interest to drive out trouble. I don't have a clue who you guys are, but you seem a little too naive for your own good. I'll just be on my way. Try to be a bit more mindful from now on. We're gonna have to meet him again. He's probably right. Our carelessness almost cost us our reputation as monstrums there. I'll do because a big city, after all. It's got all sorts of people, both good and bad. It was a learning experience. That doesn't make it unique. Every every place has it. Yeah. But yeah, thinking of it that way makes me feel a little better. Anyway, we should go tell the staff about the people. Gracious me, I really wish they'd take it easy on these old bones. I suppose I'll just have to go undercover for a spell again. Eh, you say that like you're already in the clear. Oh. Who are these guys? I had a feeling you'd wheezed your way out, old-timer. You get us our intel? Ah, yes, I've managed to catch wind of a blind spot from the garrison's post. I may ask, what exactly do you... You hear that, boys? Another piece set for our master plan. We better make sure we're ready for when the boss comes back. Sakes alive, which is what could they be up to? Oh, so they put him up to it. And he just got busted for what they're doing, apparently. So that plot thickens. Uh, weren't there other... Yeah, there was another building down here that I never went to, apparently. Uh, I have one of those, right? Yeah. What's the other one? Grants you more boost from skills the lowest your HP is. Hmm. Most mainly know Balduk from a, for its prison, but a lesser known gem is the Knight's Chapter House. It used to house Gillian troops for generations, dating as far back as the Hundred Years' War. Though I guess it's kind of in shambles right now thanks to the Hawk. What hasn't the Hawk screwed up and ruined? Oh, I can run right up. Okay. Uh, don't tell me it's in the tree. It's not in the tree. I think it's in the tree. Is it actually in there? Uh... Can I run up the tree? That seems like it's gonna get me in trouble. He's just kind of rolling around it and not running up. So... that doesn't seem like it's gonna work. Doesn't seem like it's in there, and doesn't seem like I can get in there anyway, unless it's under it. It is under it. White asparagus, that was useful for something. Words are too faded for you to make out at the moment. At the moment? I mean, do you think it's gonna get better? It's not usually how graffiti works. I hope that doesn't mean we can miss graffiti. Like, does that mean that the custodian got down here and cleaned it up? Where does this go, or does that just bring us back up, maybe? I've been on that side of things. That, that I recognize. I've probably been on this side at some point, too. Yeah, okay, so I couldn't get over here before, but now we have access to the main square. So yeah, this is just the other side of that. Interesting. 
So I probably could have seen that treasure chest before, I just wouldn't have noticed it from that distance, because treasure chests tend to blend in with the background a lot. Uh, so there's something up here. Also, more graffiti? Maybe? Right here. Oh, doll, elegant and divine, won't you please star in my latest production? I beg of you on bended knee, show yourself before me. Alright, doll's got a fan club, apparently. Can I land here? Yes. Oh, there's an open door here. Hmm. Also, shiny thing. Yes. I'll take that. I did not mean to do that. Another landmark. I'll do amphitheater. Oh, there's a chest over here. Shield earring. What does that do? Oh, right. Also... Oh, she's actually got one of those on. That actually does increase defense, which is... I think I had given that to her because she had the lesser armor, actually. What else do I have in here? Obviously, I don't have room to equip all these things anyway, but... Oh, it gave us back the uh, items that were equipped on Hawk, I think, because he had the wood shield on, for sure. Oh, we also have strength plus 10. I might go for that, actually. get over there. There's another shiny thing over there. Uh, there's something else over here. Might be graffiti? It is graffiti. Is it at the bottom? Yep. I'm a thief at the end of my rope. How about a little game before I go? First to search the base of the tree by the amphitheater wins. The base of the tree by the amphitheater? Alright, I mean, we're at the amphitheater, right? This is the amphitheater, right? Yeah. Wait, I'm going the wrong way then, aren't I? This is the amphitheater. So we need to find a tree. I also haven't gone in there. Okay, this tree, then. Even at the base of the tree revealed a stash of gold coins. Okay. But sometimes graffiti has a point. That came back in, like, two seconds. Uh, so we haven't tried going in the amphitheater yet, and I'm kind of curious, because it seemed like there were a couple of doors into it. Whoops. I completely botched the inputs for that. Cool.
not what I wanted. Ah, jeez. Alright, wasn't one of these open, or was this closed? That's closed. It looked like there was one open up there, but I could be wrong. How the hell did I get up there before? Actually, why don't I just warp to it? That would be the easy way. Uh, so where was it? Here? This is also closed. Okay, I was thinking that might have been open, but it wasn't. Uh, alright, what else do we want to do? Is that... There's so many landmarks over there that I can't tell... Apparently that's one I've been to? Why is it differently colored? I can fast travel to all these things? I thought I could only fast travel to the green landmarks and the relief points specifically. Uh, so that's a surprise. Is there anything else I haven't discovered? Yeah, so that's the, uh... Yos? Wait, why is there a question mark? That's the... F isn't that where the florist is? Have I really never gone there? So I can't fast travel to that. I am kind of curious, though, that, like... We went there for a quest once, but I guess I never just went there when there wasn't another motivation and dialogue sequence. Yeah, so we can buy flowers here. The heck is that, and why is it so expensive? It shines even brighter when bathed in moonlight. It's like, these all feel like they're raw materials for things, and I don't know what their purpose is yet. Uh, all those treasures are outside of where I can actually be, uh, where I can actually get right now, but there's supposedly graffiti that I haven't gotten around here. Question is, which level is it on? right here. Find the gap around here, you wouldn't want to slide down. That looks suspicious, but I guess it's just the gap between the boxes. Alright, yeah, I don't think there's anything else for me to do over here right now, although there is... No, that's the one that requires Hawk. This one is the four question marks. I never did follow up on that. I would have been faster to just go to the landmark right next to it. Uh, that was this one. Oh, right, we were also... We ended up finding the dude right away, rather than the job board that it said to actually find for the, uh... The Peeping Tom quest. Uh, so this is technically in another area. Can I? Oh, no, I can get up here. It's in the middle of... is it her? It's her? All I have to do is wait here. Then again, it was just a dream. Oh, hello there, mister. Are you new in town? Wait, no way! Dark hair, red scarf. You really did show up. What are you t My hair isn't really this color. That is true. 
Sorry about that. Probably weren't expecting some stranger to start going off on you like that. See, last night someone dressed up just like you appeared in my dreams. In it, he handed me some azure petals right on this very spot. And that someone was... me? Well, I couldn't actually make out his face, but I'm pretty certain it was. There's this old fairy tale passed down among Gleans. It's said that obtaining that azure petals brings about fortune and joy to their holder. So we're just supposed to give them to her? Feels like we should be hanging on to them, then. Sounds almost mystical, doesn't it? Maybe you've seen them before? Yep. Yeah, yeah, just like this one right over... Wait, no way! Where the heck did this even come from? I was about to say they're nothing more than just superstition, but... It's like I have no choice but to call myself a believer now. Ooh. Telling me? This has to be like a sign from the gods or something. So if you find any, would you mind sharing some of their magic with me? I'll give you a nice reward if you bring me ten of them. I have to have that many by now. Deal? Deal. Happy searching. Okay, so we finally know what this is about. It would be great if we could also find, like, what the graffiti motive is. Uh, Azure petals can be found scattered all about town. Use your gifts to seek them out. Marguerite will offer a reward for every ten petals you deliver. He's ten so far. Okay. By the way, my my dad's a bit of an antiquarian. Sometimes he gives me some of the things in his collection, but well, honestly, his treasures are kind of going to waste with me. Pick this up, and I'll see about giving them over to you as a little extra reward. All you gotta do is bring any more Azure Azure petals you find back to me, okay? I'll have no trouble, I'm sure. You are, after all, an adventurer of seasons beyond your years. How does she know that? She's, uh, mysterious. I apparently had at least 20. Oh, well, I'm glad I didn't bother buying one of those. Those are literally, those literally cost 200 gold. She gave me something that I could have bought for 200 gold. And for some reason, this was the 20 petal reward. Seems a little disproportionate. Even so, it seems nothing can stop your intrepid nature from placing you in harm's way. And again, perhaps it is that very trade I find myself so... Wait, what am I saying? Sorry if I made you uncomfortable there. There is something very weird about her. She's gonna end up being Griselda. That makes no sense, but the fact that they shoved Griselda into East 8, then I'm just gonna shitpost about it now. Does it actually show me how many I have somewhere? Like, if I go to key items or something? Also, I gotta remember, there is an items shortcut. I feel like I should rebind it, though, because it's so easy to get to the items menu anyway. Uh, I guess that they would be down here somewhere? I have eight, so I need two more before I can turn more into her. It would be great if it would show you how many you have when you pick one up, but it barely even shows you that you picked one up for more than, like, half a second. And it's also kind of weird that, like, you can find them so early when, like, it takes you eight hours to get to the area that she's in. At least I'm pretty sure- actually, no, I, I thought I was still in the main square. No, you can get to this earlier than that. I don't suppose there's another crimson line point up here? Haven't I been- I've been on something like this. Maybe not- maybe not this one specifically. And then I can't get to the other one... at least yet. Where is the passage to that? I want to see whether this also has a vortex in front of it. 
Like, is there always exactly one? Seems like there's always exactly one. This one doesn't have one, so they really are just, like, linearly progressing us. That's the one I can't get to. I've been here so many times. <laughs> Looking for that one treasure chest that isn't actually there. can we do? Um, I'm, I've been forgetting about the other quests at this point. Oh, so this is the job board that we're supposed to go to for this guy. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> There's one posting a flyer on the bulletin board. She must be the tabloid person. Huh? You guys need something? Oh, I get it. Looking to get a first look at my new scoop, are you? Here you are, loyal readers. He thrusts a flyer at you. Well, that was easy. Special issue. Monstrums to blame for serial thefts? When will they strike the prison next? <laughs> Those monstrums really are a goldmine of intrigue, aren't they? See, I've made up my mission in life to bring truths like these to the eyes of the people. Truths. Yeah. Right. Keen-eyed individuals like myself are a rare breed. Are a rare breed. Up to us to enlighten the masses. Um, keen eyes and brain worms are very far apart on the spectrum of truth and not. Might want to get that checked. Despite all my hard work, the soldiers and citizens keep brushing it off as gossip. Because it is. Unbelievable, right? I mean, huh? Heh. <laughs> Speak of the devil. It's always on me with the whole stop posting on private property bit. I'd better duck out while I can. See you next time, loyal readers. Yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't have a problem with that, I think. Yeah, I have almost 3,000. We're fine. Uh, so we need to go back to him. I mean, I guess I might as well hook it there. It's that close. Is it up here, or... yeah, it is. Hmm. Oh yeah, what is in here? <laughs> like, this is totally not worth it because you can just buy them elsewhere, but I guess this suggests that I did miss items somewhere. Hand over the flyer and 500 gold, officially striking a deal with Maxim. Payment received. I accept your request. So, um, how exactly are you going to get the info? I see. Didn't I say he was Aragorn before? I guess I was a little off, but... An owl? Got a job for you, Arthur. Cool. Much smarter than foolish humans, to be sure. Wanted info on the prison's infrastructure? In other words, its layout and security? Whether I can procure that intel is up to our man on the inside. Only time will tell. Here it is. The chance you've been waiting for. A deal too sweet to uh, resist. All you gotta do is take on this job. Mine's looking for intel on the prison's layout and patrol routes. What? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Our guy on the inside is... us. Um, or I guess Greg, who is getting it to us, but, like, what? <laughs> Where's the information for, or this isn't very guardsman-like of you. He's probably not gonna answer us if we say this anyway, so... Eh, 
Don't you act all wide-eyed and innocent with me, redhead. I wouldn't even be up here if I believed in any of those bullshit rules of theirs. I don't know much about any sectors I don't oversee. But, my wager a master escape artist like you might be able to fill in the blanks. You've got nothing but time, eh, redhead? Go for it. We'll make a mint, you and me. Well, that's an interesting way to thicken the plot. I have a feeling that you're getting mixed up in something else here. Still, this may be a prime opportunity to gather intel on the prison. So, we're... We're literally helping ourselves now. I'm not really sure how that works. Oh, right, we have the rusty sword. I gotta remember that. This has nothing in it, right? We already got one. This is where we got the sword, I think. Yeah, we can't use the map in here anyway. This is the same text we saw last time. So the graffiti doesn't change. That's, uh, mildly comforting. This is where we had found the paper before. And this is the same text it had before. Which, that is interesting. Which inmate are they talking about? We're getting some fresh air again. This time it's daytime. Are we gonna get any further than last time? There's continue to descend from here. You may be able to find a way out of this tower if you keep heading down. More graffiti. Complex layouts, small unopenable rooms. The underground sector is full of mysteries. Even for us guards, the prison is mystifying beyond all reason. Spoiler alert, the, the tower never ends. Seems to be some sort of mechanism to open the gates. Is there a gate? Yes, there is. Okay. I don't know. This is all very suspicious. Like, it's making me want to not trust the other at all, but it's also making me wonder who the hell that guard is. Seems you've exited the tower entirely. You still have plenty of time to investigate ahead for now. I mean, also, you're free, because you're literally outside. Like, you could just leave. But this all feels very, like, plot-critical. And yet, for some reason, this is all structured as side quests. Like, you could technically just... <clears throat> relentlessly grind boring Nox battles. Wait, so can I get up there or not? Okay, that's an invisible wall. So is that. So where the hell are we going? Kind of seems like we can't go anywhere. Also, why is this one particular thing out? It's showing like there's something over there, but how do I get there? Unless it's actually inside, but that seems doubtful. <clears throat> that seems doubtful. Oh, that's something. Lever has rusted considerably. It doesn't seem like it'll budge. What about the other one? Is there another one? 
I see. Okay, so those were actually blocking the way. How convenient of them to tell us what floor we're on. Gotta remember I can run. Alright, so... Not much point to one of those being rusted shut while the other one wasn't, but... Can't go in the water. Yeah, that one seems like it might be a tough one to open. Among the jumble of scrolls is one that looks like a map of some sort. Holy shit, are we getting a map of the prison? Oh, is that gonna cut our time short here, though? It's a rough floor plan of the prison. This will surely come in handy when making your way around the facility. Yeah, we can finally press that button. Holy shit. Oh, and we can fast travel within the prison. So the prison is practically another overworld in and of itself at this rate. Okay, they're not cutting us short. They probably will when we get into there. That was a peculiar sound. Seems to be coming from that room. It certainly seems like, uh... Yeah, they're absolutely just siphoning us towards... ending the segment here, probably. Alright, so what does this look like, though? Oh, I see. So that's the only options you have. So it is indeed a very rough map that only exists for fast travel purposes. Um... What the heck is that? Uh... I'm gonna check this out first. You found a book about Balduk Prison. Baldic Prison is primarily divided between its north, south, east, and west wings. Situated between them is the central wing, which serves as a hub connecting to each of its subordinate structures. Additionally, the north wing, the highest among the five, boasts a watchtower that soars above the rest of the facility. It goes without saying that this particular tower is essentially impregnable. I wonder if that means the north wing is where we've been staying. Alright, so, uh... You having fun there? Oh, oh. There's something stuck in the pot. You decide to help it out. Oh, oh. How about you? What? Curses, I've been had. But you'll need more than the fates of your s on your side if you hope to catch the likes of me. Now, thank God. Lest you plan to let me run away screaming, in which case, be my guest. You've seen creatures like this once bef You've seen creatures like this one before. It's a rue? Why can we understand it? Why can it speak our language? You know, normally we need special items to be able to do that. Also, honestly, I didn't suspect this of being a rue right away until... A few lines in, when I realized, like, actually its face and ears kind of maybe remind me of a Rue. You've managed to understand them before, but this one seems capable of speaking human. What? Do I have something on my snout? Wait. Hold on a tick here. Yo, who are you? Hi there, I'm just an inmate. I'm a guard, nice to meet you. <laughs> uh -huh. Just an inmate, my big fluffy tail. It'd take more than just an inmate to bust out of his cell with nary an issue. Not to mention, you don't even seem all that phased to see me speak in the tongue of man. I've got many a query for you, Sirrah, but for starters, what are you doing here? You explained that you'd taken a job from one of the guards in order to gather intel to help you escape from the prison. For real? Oh god, it's Ryuji. Uh, you've already managed to win over the guards? 
Tilly Valley, you're a real bully rook, if ever I've seen one. I guess I'm glad I gave this dude an accent, because holy crap, his vocabulary. I'm just a traveler with a heart of gold. I mean, that is true. And who are you exactly is the more important uh, question, I feel like. But, eh, I'll go with that. Only the most dubious lot feel the need to make a point of how trusty they are. Hmm. Okay, I can't imitate that voice at all. Well, he's got that right. Xavier, okay. Would not have guessed that name. You'll find no cannier guy than yours truly when it comes to traversing this prison. I know all sorts of shortcuts and hidey holes you humans never could. I'd wager I can help you with that guard's behest or what have you. How about a way out of here? <laughs> Act that I could, but I don't know of any getaways a human could use. That's not to say I can't help you find one, we'll just take it up all the time. Hmm, Adel the Adventurer, huh? A peculiar title for a peculiar fellow. Well, either way, here's to our brand new partnership, Adel. What is this music? area seems less like a prison and more like an underground ruin of some sort. So the very, very beginning of this immediately made me think of one of the songs from Final Fantasy VIII. Just like the, the piano at the beginning. You're not too confident in the weapon you brought, but if what Xavier says is true, the intel you're seeking is somewhere up ahead. Hey, fie on me, Rusty. My stubby little legs can't catch up that fast. The place I wanted to show you is right down this way. Let's be off. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I thought they meant he joined the party. <laughs> it's like, I don't think so, dude. Also, I'm actually going to save to a separate slot here, because this is supposedly a side quest. So, like, this was, this was a side quest that had shorts on it. I feel like you would have to try really hard to not take the side quests, because you need them in order to advance in the town anyway. But... I don't know. There are things about this game that don't make a lot of sense to me, the way they've structured them, because it seems like side quests are... Um... The, because they're side quests, it's like you think they're not required, but actually they seem very required. So... I don't know. Things are getting interesting, though. I mean, I I just can't get over how questionably structured this game is in some ways. But it's still super interesting. Anyway, uh, I gotta take a break, but I do want to come back. This seems like good break music, though, so we'll do that. And uh, we'll play a little bit more for half an hour or so when we get back. Okay, we're back. Sorry for the momentary lapse in uh, music there. I uh, I clicked on things outside the game and then realized, oops, that's gonna cause that to happen, because that's what the game does. Um, we're back. And, uh... We're in the middle of some interesting stuff, so let's see uh, how far this leads us. And we, we found the first instance of Ruse in the game, so... That's something. You know it's an East game when you found Ruse in it. Okay. I thought the chair was making some weird noises. Hang on. That's not the chair. <clears throat> it's midnight, but for some reason somebody is setting off, like, some kind of fireworks or something. Um, it's midnight on December... 28th, and someone is setting off fireworks for some reason. Doesn't make any sense. People are dumb. What? Excuse me? Okay. Rip that guy who was clearly there to uh, warn us of that. We gotta be careful of the floors in these places.
This particular part of this music sounds like it could be an overload or something. Okay, so, uh, there's... that might be a trap. Or it might not, okay. I saw these slightly off color and I thought, like, this could be... bad. Oh, there's one, okay. Oh, jeez, it's all three of them. Wow! Dude can jump, though. Actually, part of the, the the way the bass line works in this reminds me of a song in, I want to say, Salsetta. Um, actually, it reminds me of the song for the town that Grieta is from. Uh, well, and, and Durin. Can't remember the name of the town. Also, wait, is it Frieda or Grieta? I can't actually remember. Wait, what? So there's a searchlight, but also a pendulum blade. Great. Thanks, I hate it. Oh, um... I, well... Alright, fortunately he turns around. Okay, so there's a switch over there. There's also a pendulum blade on the other side. Will he go far enough? Uh, yes. But then he also frickin'... Oh god, that's not very nice. Uh, fortunately he didn't actually hit us. Is he actually just gonna reset now? Okay, I guess that works. I didn't expect it to just keep going infinitely. Yeah, I sure showed him who's boss. Sure, yeah, that was... Uh... Not how I expected that to go. Also, wait, why is there an icon there? I mean, I can't... I guess I can do this and zoom in. I guess that's the, sw the switch, okay. But also the fact that... what word did he use before? It was something like Gadzooks or something. Or Zounds, it might have been Zounds. Like seriously, where did this Rue learn English? Apparently from Scooby-Doo. Do I live here now? I don't know which draw. Yeah, I live here now. <clears throat> oh, but I can go across this way. All right. Is there anything over there though? Doesn't doesn't look like it. And there's another switch on the other side, and there's a chest over. Oh, there was actually a bridge there. Uh, I can't really go this way, but I guess I don't need to. I just need to return to the middle. And then the chest is across the bridge, maybe? Or is it up there? Get the feeling I'm not gonna be able to get that right now. I completely botched that. I don't think it would have worked anyway, but. Wow, there was another one hiding behind it. They are some jumpy boys, though. I can't jump on that, huh? Not expecting that. Okay. 
I need to actually run. Or actually, I just need to get on the middle and go the other way. Oh, there's a chest over there. I don't think I can get to it, though. They're, they're definitely teasing this as if I'm gonna need to come back here later with monster abilities. But I don't think there's any way I'm getting over there. Oh, that didn't even let me jump. Alright, not gonna worry about it for now. Oh, but... I need to go back up this way. So yeah, we're clearly gonna need to come back here later. the explodey noise. Alright, there's another one of those guys. And we have to go down there. Oh, what? Wait, why are you on to me already? How did he catch me? He was nowhere even close. Also, now he's very confused. Yeah, go be mad at that guy. Uh, Did I just break him? No, that caught his attention again. Or it might have? Or he might still be stuck there. So I accidentally just glitched out that dude and made him not a problem by doing nothing. Alright. GG, I guess. Uh, that is not the way we want to go. Wait, what did that do? It didn't open this one. I guess I have to go... Take it. Which right? That right. Okay. Oh, there's another one of you. I was not expecting that. And then that's the one where we were before, presumably. Yep. Wait, no, not that. He meant to left from where I currently was that time. Okay. What? I was levitating on the stairs. That was interesting. Alright, we did it. And where the heck are we now? Well, apparently we're going in there. Is there anything I can do here? Probably not. There's a breakable up there. Can't see if there's anything else. Bingo! This is it! Documents are littered all across the room. It appears to be some kind of archive. Information you're looking for can likely be found here. Well, don't just stand there, Rusty. Pick up a book and get to reading. And what looks to be an expense log of the prison's construction projects. The sectors allocated to us, the Hieroglyph Knights, are in dilapidated conditions. Of course they are. Is this normal for provision repositories? Hmm, your people should have it good these days. Psst, Rusty, want to know how many droid apples there are in the city warehouse? 
a report of some kind. We two are deeply troubled by this. However, we have no evidence to consider it anything more than a missing person's case. This document was signed by the prison warden. The garrison shall continue working in tandem with the Hieroglyph Knights to ensure security in the courtyard. That was by Belger. Okay. Does it actually let us reread them? Because these are the same shiny bits, right? Oh. So many, so many, it's not fair. I mean, let's gather information. Yeah, that's the same. He actually says two different things, though. This part of the prison appears to be precisely as the map described. Even the guard's patrol schedule is explicated. Overseeing the prison side by side with the Romans? That ain't easy. Yeah, Shadowlord is strong enough himself to. To what? Uh, sorry, I must have been imagining things. Well, well, this really is something. Even if it is just the East Wing. Layouts here include parts of the lower levels even us guards don't know about. And on top of that, it's got the patrols mapped out too, even for the knights. You're not fixing to use this thing to help you escape, are you, redhead? I never considered it. Thought crossed my mind. I mean, yeah. We gotta we gotta play we gotta play goody two shoes with this guy though, right? Yeah, well I'll give you the benefit of the doubt this time around. You'd have a hard time getting around, even with knowledge of the patrol routes. The fact is, this place is so secure it'll practically make your head spin. I think the word you're looking for is confusing. Not secure. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Here's your cut. What? <laughs> How is that our cut? This is, this is the thing we picked up for, uh... Ah, this is the thing we picked up for, uh, Maxim, for the the information and broker, dude. Got a few good laughs in passing it around. Entertaining stuff, really. I don't need it anymore, so go ahead, it's all yours. It's, all, it's authenticity is uncertain, but the info holds it holds about the outside is no doubt valuable. No, it's not. You decide to give it a read later on. Next to you, my little side gig is coming along nicely. I'll pass along any other jobs I get that might fit your fancy. Look forward to it. Oh, there. I see you made it back in one piece. Oh, it's him. Okay. Him, her? I don't even know. That was one ma I mean, I mean, it is Xavier, so I guess it is a him. That was one merry little jolt we just had, wasn't it? With you here, this prison won't be nearly as humdrum as it was before. Call on me if you ever find need of my heroic aid again, okay? Wait, what did he do for us, though? I suppose he did lead us to the library. You get the feeling these requests will be your best hope of gathering information. Yeah, but how are we getting out of prison, though? Maybe taking jobs from a corrupt prison guard isn't so bad after all. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what's up with Greg. Sorry for the wait. Here you are. Really got it. To buy off the cards. You're really something. Let's take it. Praise and gratitude weren't part of your payment. I fulfilled what you asked of me. That's all there is to it. I would love for them to know who fulfilled it. Oh. Well, at least we can go rescue that girl now. Let's head back and set up a plan with Parks. Again, remember, all of this was part of a short term, um,. Side quest, supposedly. Short meaning that you only have access to it for a little while. You would need a way into the central wing. We only have the map to the east wing. After evaluating many entry routes, you decided that the east wing route the, through Cloaca Maxima would be the safest. Oh, go figure. We gotta go there to kill monsters, too. I have high confidence in our abilities, but a human couldn't use this route. This rescue mission can only be executed by monstrums. 
Furthermore, we must distribute misinformation to, to divert the attention of the guards. Before launching the mission, ensure that you're adequately prepared. Speak to me when you're ready. Got it. Alright, um... Well, I guess we can't... I guess it's not actually convenient, because we probably can't do both Cloaca Maxima missions at the same time. Uh... Where was that, anyway? Was that up here? Yeah, it was up here. Um... Might as well try to do this first. the entrance then. <laughs> also is there something over here that I should be able yeah why did I not get this don't tell me these refresh or something I can't believe I wouldn't have gotten to that before Uh, is... wait. Oh, I forgot that just leads back there, but wait a sec. Where was the entrance to that thing? Oh, I can also just do that. Why is that symbol over there, though? That's... weird. Well, let's... I don't know, I'm inclined- I don't see it on the map there? So I'm inclined to just go into it. Alright, but... Are we just supposed to look through the whole damn thing? Oh, it does also say priority on it. Okay, so that's that's what it actually maps to. Oh right, there's only two of us now. And I actually see... Oh, it's in the boss room. Okay. And yeah, let's go here. I can see it right there. Is this just multiple of the boss that we fought before? It sure seems like it. Uh, okay, I'm apparently I'm almost dead. Okay, that was fine. And then, where did she say she was gonna be? The Ruined Belfry. Oh, I guess it's there. Okay. Oh, is, is this the place that she's always posturing in front of in that one cutscene that we see every single time we do a, uh... a Grimwald segment? Or is she actually on the ground? No, I figure... Wait. Wait, what are these? This is, uh... That's Shantae. So that's for something completely different. We actually want to go up there. Might be easier to go from here. Mm, that's not what I wanted to do. 
I'm very confused. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, that's why. Okay. Uh... So it's that way, huh? Sorry. Uh... What? Is that the wrong one? That's... Totally not the one I was actually pointed at. I... What? Why am I so confused by the map right now? That's where I actually targeted. Can I even go there, though? There's a barrier there. Now I'm more confused. Like, are you seriously telling me I can't turn in this mission I just did? I guess that's what made it long-term. Alright, I guess we'll go back and do the other one, then. Ready to turn it in though. Oh, I forgot to talk. <laughs> forgot to talk to the other two dudes who were right there though. Hang on. Uh, they were just right over here. Well, if it isn't my favorite little darlings, working hard, I take it. Hi, Shante. Oh, and you too, Mr. Raskov. Oh, this is your first time meeting, isn't it, Adol, my dear? Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Roskov. He's the owner here at Le Bistro Blanc. Not Le Blanc. This is not Persona 5. Hello there. Pleasure to meet your, make your acquaintance. Mr. Roskov here is a business neighbor of Pendleton's. We often have him cater for us. Are you already familiar with him too, Shante? Oh, I've known him for quite a while. He and I are fellow culinary artists, after all. We get together for a little advice session every now and then, just like this. An advice session? Is something the matter, Mr. Roscoff? Well, yes, as it so happens. I was thinking of expanding our menu in the near future. Namely, by bringing back a local specialty from the previous owner's management. Unfortunately, we're having a rather rough time figuring out where to start. A local specialty? Now that you mentioned it, I think I remember eating that dish when I was little. I assumed ownership here upon introduction by a local eatery after the war eight years ago. As such, I've never had the dish myself, but the townsfolk considered it quite a delicacy. Sadly, however, all but mere fragments of the recipe have been lost to the ravages of war. And the previous owner took any remaining clues with him when he passed a few years back. As much as I'd like to help, I'm afraid I'm at a loss with this. If only we knew what ingredients were used, we might be able to recreate it. Perhaps it would be more constructive to think of a new menu item entirely. Mr. Roscoff could really use our help, what do you think, Adam? Uh -huh. Well, aren't you a sweetheart? I couldn't ask for anything more. Are you sure it's not any trouble? Eh. Three squares a day was the alternate response. Oh, now I see. Trying to get yourself a little local flavor, aren't you? Actually, I'd be willing to compensate your efforts with a good view. It's the least I can do in return for your assistance. The deal, then, as for where we can start... There have to be people around here who remember the dish to some extent. If we find them and ask, we might be able to figure out what the ingredients are. Oh, no, that is an idea. I can say with some certainty that the dish incorporates both seafood and vegetable. Perhaps you could ask someone with a great deal of knowledge about either. That would make our best bets the main square market and agricultural district. I was wondering about the seafood bit, but agricultural district would be the natural bet for the, uh, the vegetables. Right, and even though I can only vaguely recall that dish myself, it does mean there's a chance that Carla remembers it too, more than I do at least. Start making our uh, ass in it around, Adam. Uh, so what kind of timeline is this quest on? Also, wait, I got a new skill at some point? Oh, wait, this is the one she learned. I never equipped it. No, this is... No. Okay. Uh, right, I actually wanted to go in here and check... This is also short, but it is priority two, or is this is priority three? All right. Uh, how close are we to Pendleton, actually? Now right over here. Yep.
So let's try asking her first. Oh, it's you all. Something in the matter? Oh, actually, there's something we wanted to ask you, Carla. Ask Carla if she knows anything about the Bistro's long-lost specialty. Let's see, so you're planning to recreate that dish, then? We hope so, anyway. We were thinking you might remember it better than I can. Well, I was pretty young at the time myself, so I only have the vaguest recollection. I do remember one thing. The broth. It was warm, soothing, like an herbal soup. I mean, isn't your broth usually warm? Herbal soup, huh? It was the most delicious part, rich with all sorts of simmered spices and fish. You were so small back then, but you'd always make room to ask for extra helpings of soup. Did I really? It sounds familiar. Calling it medicinal does sound a little unappetizing, but even if even us kids liked it. One sip of that soup could draw on just about anyone, no matter what their taste. No, I think I actually have the recipe written down in my room somewhere. Wait, what? <clears throat> Wait, you do? Well, you had this awful cold a long time ago, so I asked the owner how to make it. Ah, the memories. He was such a kind old man, and wonderful with kids at that. Yeah, I remember that too, definitely. <clears throat> Shouldn't take long to dig it up. Do you mind waiting for a bit? Not at all, thanks, Carla. That sounds too... Oh! A recipe for specifically the broth. I see. Not a recipe for the entire soup, just the broth for some reason. Please soup. No soup, only broth. Uh, alright. Oh, hey, there's a thing that we can fight here. Uh, that was a red one. It should have materialized a box, but it totally didn't. But the point of red ones was they give you better drops, but this one gave me nothing. I feel cheated, game. I guess there's still only a chance of drops either way. Um, alright, Agricultural District. Oh, welcome, welcome. Here to buy some fresh produce. We sell our crops wholesale to stores all around. You won't find them juicier than this. If she would know. Let's ask after her pitch dies down. Oh, you mean the Bistro Blank? I was actually the old owner's routine supplier at the time. Really? Then in that case... Yes, I do have an idea what sort of vegetables went into that dish. I can distinctly remember artichokes sticking out among the bunch, though. Artichokes? You mean those edible thistle buds, right? They're pretty commonly distributed throughout Glia, last I remember. Well, I can't speak for anywhere else, but we do eat them quite a lot here. They've got just the faintest tinge of sweetness, perfect for steaming. And they're plenty nutritious to boot. The previous owner practically sang their praises. Oh, I can see why. If you don't mind, though, could you tell us about the other vegetables used in the dish? Well, of course. Now let me see. Alright. So this soup was like New York's artichoke pizza. Actually, it's not just New York, right? Isn't that in multiple places now? But I had it in New York. I don't know if it's in multiple places. I know uh, one of my co-workers a few jobs ago made a big deal about, like, every time he came to New York, he had to go to Artichoke Pizza. So I guess it must have been area-specific. Uh, can I go here? Yes, I can. And what we need should be... Oh, off the pier. Yep, alright. Oh, you have some business with me? Fishermen would probably know, right? Oh, we were just wondering something. You mean the Bistro Blank, right? I know the dish you're asking for. Really? What was it called? I can't exactly recall, but I do remember having it back when I lived in the Noble District. It blew my low expectations of commoner food straight out of the damn water. The juiciest whitefish, the firmest clams, the tenderest... Tenderest? Is that a word? Tenderest shrimp. That dish had it all. I always loved fish. Now my days are spent reeking of it. 
It's a cruel one, I tell you. I'm sorry to hear that. Still, it's wetting my appetite just hearing about it. Fish with that much seafood and it must have been worth every last bite. It was, especially considering how easy fresh fish comes by thanks to this comes by thanks to this canal. And that's not even counting imports. There's a reason Balduke has so many seafood dishes. Our custom of eating fish on the hieroglyph faith day of fasting doesn't hurt either. Ugh, this really brings me back, but I wouldn't give to have another taste. It really was a Baldukian specialty, through and through. Can we maybe ask you to tell us more about the specific seafood used in the dish? Hmm, well, let me think. If memory serves, this particular whitefish they used was... Alright, we got all three parts. Now the problem is, we have no idea how to prepare it. Alright, so we're going back... Oh, that's where we're supposed to turn that in. It had absolutely nothing to do with whatever the hell was over there. Okay. <laughs> The frickin' name of that, uh, quest is hilarious. Uh... Were we? Wait. Where are we turning this in? Same place we were before. Okay, I thought I saw the icon somewhere else. Oh, we're back. Those beaming little faces of yours mean what I think they mean. Yes, or, well, I hope so, anyway. Whitefish, clams, shrimp, artichokes, and other vegetables, all in a hearty broth. That sounds like a local specialty if I've ever heard one. Well, what's left is to recreate it, Chante. I don't suppose you'd like to help me. Oh, you know it, honey. And here we have it. Baldukian style... I don't know how to pronounce that. Go to see of the Bistro Blank. Oh, it looks delicious. This was the previous oh, owner's no. recipe? That's right, a Bistro Blank specialty dish. A pescatarian paradise like this is a balanced diet all on its own. Such a beautiful color, too. Really common dish here in Glia. The recipe varies quite a bit between the different households and establishments, but this particular one satisfies both body and soul, a perfect meld of comfort and nourishment. It is, without a doubt, a dish conceived from the previous owner's utmost compassion and care. It'll be a bit with the custom a hit with the customers, you can be sure of that. Indeed, I can't express enough how happy I am to have re revived this dish. Now, all will have the chance to enjoy it, whether for the first time, or ever, or in forever. Yeah, my sincerest thanks. We couldn't have done this without you. Not at all. I'm just glad our info ended up helping in the end. Well, that makes two of us, darling. Now then, let's say we get the reward of yours and before it gets cold. Okay, we got the recipe. And it was added to their menu. We're almost... It would be a waste to turn in that other quest now, actually, because we can already do the thing. So what I should do is fight a couple more monsters, then open the vortex, and then turn in the other quest. There is the matter of... The other... Like, I'm, I should be less worried about the long-term quest, it's the other short-term quest I should be worried about, actually. Like, I don't know if that'll progress things too much if I open the Vortex. So let's save that. Right now... This is still... active. Alright, this time they're giving me stuff. Another wood shield, okay. And yeah, that gave me 96, so we just need one more of those, or... Oh, there's another red one over here, actually. That'll work. They were already good. I forgot you can overfill it. So it actually doesn't matter. 
So actually, we could go do... We could do the other quest first. Although I probably shouldn't get started with that tonight because it's actually, like, super late. So, we've got plenty of stuff to do, though. It's also telling us to dispel the Vortex right now, but... We can potentially wait on that. So let's go back... Here. Also, actually, where's Dogi at? I mean, it'll give me the option to increase our defenses when we go to do the next defense anyway, I think. No. Here he is. Lux Cannon. And it's a ball of light that stuns all enemies. Okay. It does that specifically when it's attacked. You must wait a set cooldown between each flare. Enhancing decreases this cooldown. There are some limbers that cannot be stunned. Alright, so what will it take to increase? We can easily upgrade that. Let's do that. Uh, we can easily increase this one more, but let's see what this requires. Okay, yeah, this is fine. Let's, let's build that. Uh, we can easily do another level on that. Okay, now that requires new stuff that I don't have. Although I'm pretty sure I can get that stuff by turning in the, uh, the Twilight Shards or whatever. Uh, yeah, I might as well level this once. Oh, that actually installs an additional one. Okay. Uh, let's not use up the rest of that. This also uses Spirit Lumber. I mean, I honestly probably don't need to do this, but... Especially given that it recovers to... Okay, now we can't. We need other stuff. Um, I, was, I interrupted my own thought there and I forgot what I was thinking. Oh, I was thinking because there's, like, set points at which you can't recover the Sphine's durability, um, increasing its overall durability also increases what those points are worth, I guess. Well, I don't know if it increases the, what the score is worth, but it should increase, like, the resiliency of, like, the ability to get back to those points because it takes more damage to get down to them to begin with. I haven't had a problem with any of these, uh, power defense things yet anyway, but... So I'm curious. That's a Midnight Sun Drop, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so that's also just an upgrade of one of these, probably. And then what was the other thing? The spar or whatever. Here it is. That's upgraded from the iron ore, I guess. So yeah, we could easily just, like, turn in Twilight Shards for these. And we could still upgrade stuff more. But I think we've done enough upgrading for the time being anyway. Um, so yeah, we gotta talk to him to continue that quest. Uh, I am gonna save one more time here. And I think I'll call it there, and we've got plenty of stuff lined up to do tomorrow. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to come back to this tomorrow afternoon. So, we've got the, the Prison Break quest, we've got, um, the, uh, the Vortex fight to do. We've got the other quest for, uh, Aperlis to, to turn in that we've already done. Anything else on the quest menu, or is that it? I think that's it. At the current time, yes. But also, then that'll open up a whole new area for us, and we can find more stuff in there, so that'll, that'll be interesting. So, continuing to, uh, to make progress and expand our area that's available to explore, 